I really don't think this is super unhealthy for this woman to be the way she is. This girl with these big ass motherfucking breasts. Her titty, not her titties. What was I talking about? When I talking about breastfeeding? What was I talking about? Being at an unhealthy weight. So say for instance, right? Call me Ash, cause I'm gonna be the very breast. <laughs> Think these are look at the way they jiggle. Nick, every time she moves, look at them big ass milkers. I don't do none of that. I be rapping. I just be capping. I just be rapping. I don't want to smoke with a soul. I ain't in the street. I don't get active. We get big. Stop the habit. I ain't no drug lord. Never seen a brick or bust open a package. I don't do no crime. No lie to be real. I don't sell drugs, to be honest, I'm pretty established We doing juggle moving, selling sea moths That's the way that I'm making this cabbage I don't know nothing these people be talking Alright, but now we gotta watch this video, y'all Alright, I found, I found one we could watch I found a good one It's out of two But we gonna watch this one because Of the thumbnail, I'm not even gonna hold y'all Cause I gotta see, like, what this is about Um So, we about to watch this video Has fat acceptance gone too far? I'm pretty sure y'all can see the thumbnail and see why. Cause I, I just I kinda gotta see those on camera. So the low tier God video don't have TOS, that's that's wonderful. Cause we're gonna watch this video has fat except it's going too far. So let's go ahead and watch this. Um yeah. Uh, yeah, so Jen. This is a video about Jen. Has fat acceptance gone too far? Let's go ahead and see what Do you think fat shaming works? I think so. Yes, fat shaming works. Of course. DSG, do y'all think fat shaming works? We've we've done it in here. We've done it in here. Of course it works. Shout out to Lizzo. You feel me? The, nigga, even Lizzo fat shames. Facts, ta two tacos, please. Yes. Yes, fat shaming works. Of course it does. It worked on you. It definitely did. Thank you, Dirk. Thank you, Dirk, for calling me fat, too. I appreciate that, my nigga. Thank you. It worked. I know. It, it definitely worked on me. You feel me? Watch. Watch, I still got I still got next week. You know what I'm saying? My bad, Daquan. You a fat ass nigga, still got a dad, but I thank you, Tariq. I need that. Tariq, it's still fuck you for that one thing that you said about my hairline that one day because you was dead ass. That you ain't laughing nothing. It's still fuck you. I, I don't remember exactly what you said, but the shit was so goddamn funny that day. It's still fuck you for life for that. But alright. Here we go. So <laughs> Yes, because they start thinking that it is okay. I'm a fat bitch. Is that the one? Cause the mom is out there, bro. Is that her? Or is it two ones with big ass breast? Just gonna keep eating. You can't tell me what to do. You can't tell me what to do. That's the mentality a lot of people, definitely Americans, go around. Would you want to be fat? Would I want to have more meat on my bones? Yeah, I'm flat every. <laughs> do you want to be fat? You don't want to be fat. That's one thing you ain't gotta lie about. Yo, love you, Uncle Fat shit. Thank you, it's your boy. I'm definitely a fat ass nigga. I appreciate that. Everywhere. Am I too much? Go fight. Hold on. Can you just show the titties? Or the titties too much? Too much. Go find less. Oh, my God. And that's what I, I be trying to tell y'all, bro. It's because they have so many options. Bro, th the way I'm staring at this girl's titties, I guarantee you she... I guarantee you she parades them shits around on her Instagram. Nigga, I guarantee you those titties are all out there, all on her Instagram. And that's the main thing at she Sky shows. Reaper 7X. Bro, these... Girls, they always be playing their cards right. I be seeing it all the time, all on social media. Bro, you go to a fat girl, you go to a fat girl page, her profile picture. Titty's just sitting right there. Cleavage all out. Why? Because they know. They know exactly what they got to show to get their attention. They know it. But yeah, just like this joint right here, right? I'm talking about this girl titties. Look at this girl. Go find less. How about you go eat less, you motherfucker? How about you eat less? Like, this is what I mean, but they don't care. Why would she care? There's so many desperate ass men out there that that are dying to get this. So today I am asking, is it okay to be fat? Yes, it's okay. Nigga said, nigga, two times please said her DMs probably a war zone. You see what I'm saying? Nigga, I'm guarantee you this nigga's fighting in her DMs every day, my nigga. Okay, it's common, it's regular, normal. Yes, I mean I don't know what she just said. What the fuck did she just say? Look at me. I'm a fat <sighs> She ain't even that fat. She my nigga. That's about, that's about, the, that's about 
nice little three shots, of, not three, not three shots, three drinks, three double Hennessy and Red Bull with the ice. You know what I'm saying? Like, like two cubes of ice, two double Hennessy, three double Hennessy's and Red Bull, bro. I can do that. You know what I'm saying? She ain't fat, fat. She built like a teacher. She got a pouch. Your next BM. Nah, don't even play me like that. Leslie. She got them long dangles. <laughs> what the fuck is a long dangle, my nigga? She definitely got them big ass breasts, though. I'm not gonna hold you. Them... She got them heavy ass hangers, bro. Them joints is out there. You feel me? They get them, <laughs> them long dangles. She definitely got them. But it's like. She... Wood. So, but two. Uh, one shot at most. <laughs> You ain't the only one, though, man. Y'all lie right now. Keep it a thousand. Keep it a thousand. DSZ, wood or not? Keep it a thousand. Keep it a thousand. Everybody in the chat, Why say it. Wood or not? Need to get this wood or not? Show. Keep it a thousand. Keep it a thousand. See? See? There we go. See what I mean? There we go. <laughs> See? See? And I don't think it's really okay to be fat because it's a lack of self-love. It's a lack of discipline. When I see a fat person, I know I see a lack of discipline. It all depends on the level of fat, though, too. Don't get it twisted. Like I said, it's certain, like that one girl, I wouldn't look at her and think you have the biggest lack of discipline because she ain't too fat. She definitely got some extra, you know what I'm saying, some extra weight on her. She got a lot of weight in them titties. Not gonna lie. But I wouldn't sit there and be like, yo, you the fattest thing in the world. You, goddamn, you be eating so fucking much. I wouldn't sit there and look at her and say that. I would say, okay, you find food enjoyable. You know what I'm saying? You definitely. Your truthful hater with cause that said much love from Portugal. Thank you, bro. Much love to Portugal. Portugal, my nigga. That's a Portugal. Wow, Portugal. As a black man saying a nigga is Portugal. Yo, a half a bottle of Devil Spring vodka and nothing. What? Nothing on her forehead? Bruh, I told you. Three, hen three double Hennessy's and Red Bull. I could knock that joint loose. Half bottle of Devil's Springs vodka and nothing on her forehead. I, I could definitely do it. Who you sitting there looking and saying what? Why you eat so much? Now I, I wouldn't. I, she don't even look like she eat a lot. She she definitely chunky, but she ain't fat fat. Just love myself, and people love me because I love myself. I'd rather have people love themselves, go to the gym, take care of themselves. A few kill. That's what I be saying. Y'all remember I've said that before, bro. People be like, love yourself. And I would think that if you love yourself, you would take better care of yourself. Like with me. Is it not obvious that I love myself? Ever clear chaser because I want to forget. <laughs> Dog, what the hell, bruh? They get killer mice say you go fuck for sure. They get ever clear. Just. You really want to forget those titties, though? Mzuda, let's keep it. You gotta keep it a band. Falcon said, "I've I've honestly uh never seen a woman built like that. I'm so intrigued. I gotta study this." So, <laughs> yo, my Yeti. Yo, thank you for the five. Get the jar no W's in the chat. W's in the chat, yo, because you know my Yeti, my Yeti. Yo, thank you W's in the chat for those five gifted. I appreciate you, my nigga. Thank you, bro. But yo, Falcon, you really never seen a girl built like this? You never seen a girl with just some big ass titties? See, that's why I said, like, I ain't gonna lie. As a man, we really do have fuck it list, and we really, like, it's like you gotta, you gotta do that. But you got, you gotta, this nigga Jizzle said Falcon does not get bitches. Nah, but keep it a band, though, Jizzle. You gotta do that. You gotta knock down one with big ass titties. I'm not gonna hold you. Them big ass breasts, it's cause all I see is titties. I don't see this. I once made a really... a German girl with titties like that. I am curious to how the nipples look, though. Bro, I done seen... If she got them pepperonis... Nah, I ain't gonna hold you. She don't look like she got them big joints. She look like she got the small little brown ones. You feel me? She look like... But she don't... Those don't look like the type that it's like the flat nipples. She look like she got like the little small brown ones. But I, I can fuck with those. I do like them big ass pepperoni joints too, the big ass salami ones. You know what I'm saying? I do like those joints too, you feel me? But yeah, brown nipples for the win though. If they ain't brown, I ain't down. Like, I don't like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't fuck with like white girls or Spanish girls that have like the titties that match their complexion. I don't like that. I need to see them titties be brown. I mean, them nipples be brown. I need to see that. You feel me? The dark areola. 
This nigga just said the Lebanon baloney nipples. What the fuck? Nigga, Lebanon? What the fuck is this nigga talking about, bro? This nigga said the Lebanon baloney nipples. No, what? But nah, for real though, bro. Nigga, Melissa Sylvester said booty hole brown. Nah, bro, that's not a color. But nah, for real though, bro. She do got them big ass motherfucking knockers though. You feel me? That's all I see here. I've yet My to look. Japanese ex had the light brown pepperoni areolas. Beautiful. <laughs> they are. They're a sight to see, my nigga. Burnt pepperonis. Nigga spitting. Nah, he hit for real. They quantum nipple specialist died. Nah, Jizzle is the fact that he said Lebanon baloney nipples. Nah, but I'm only looking at this girl's titties. I have not looked at this girl's face that much. That's why I kept saying the drinks and shit. Like, I've yet to really stare at this girl's face. Jizzle's more or less. This ain't a girl I see out on even black. This is a bitch. Like, you gotta be real here with yourselves. A lot of niggas in here is definitely hitting that, which we already went through. I'm not looking at this girl and saying, God damn, it's a I'm looking at her and the first time I'm seeing is them big ass breasts and that's the only thing I'm seeing is big ass titties. She ain't even she like super like fat around here. Giant in the face too. <laughs> Nigga, not really. Kind of, kind of. I go, oh, kind of. But it's the titties. Yo, Falcon, the titties though, nigga. Will not change me. It has a lot of problems being fat because it is not healthy or good looking. I think it's okay to be fat, but I wouldn't date a fat person, I think. It's... That nigga trying to save his job. Is it okay to be fat? Of course. You hesitate a little. It, it's not. It's not. It's not okay to be fat. Like for real, bro. We got to be real people, bro. The thing is, I like I said, man, look. If you put it like this, bro. There's no way you could say You was just lecturing me on hitting ugly women to quan come on now. Falcon, you saw them titties though? It's different. But yeah, nah. Look, man. You gotta understand something when it comes down to these people. I see it like this. You can be at a healthy weight. Say for instance, like old girl, I really don't think this is super unhealthy for this woman to be the way she is. This girl with these big ass motherfucking breasts. Her titty not her titties. What was I talking about? I, I, it's the titties, man. What was I talking about? What the fuck was I talking about? Trapping her and she feeding me and the baby. When I talking about breastfeeding? What was I talking about? I said something. What was I talking about? It's not back to real. Wait. What the fuck was I talking about? Like, as soon as I went to the titties. Being at an unhealthy weight. So, say for instance, right? Call me, Ash. Cause I'm gonna be the very breast. <laughs> The very breast, nigga? Bruh, chill, dog. Nigga said the very breast. Nah, for real, bro. Nigga, these titties is out there, nigga. Y'all can lie, bro. Them joints is out there, nigga. I definitely did bowl on DSG. But look, right? Not the titties again. Oh, fuck it, fuck, fuck Oh, this ain't, this ain't a weight that you look at and be like, damn. She is unhealthy as shit. She can't walk up a flight of stairs. I know her back hurt. Definitely. She could definitely put them shits on my shoulder and I could, you know what I'm saying? I'll walk with them joints. Walk with the weight of the world on my shoulders, you feel me? But yeah, man. It's your boy just said she fine, not gonna lie. Yo, it's your boy. Stop looking at the titties for a second. It's your boy. Stop looking at the titties for one second. Don't look at the titties and, and comment again and tell me about her looks. Her titties obese, though. Bruh. That nigga basically said it's not back to reality. Like, those titties can ricochet a bullet. Yo, what the fuck? The titties can ricochet a bullet? This thing said it's so hard, Unc. I know. Yo, don't look at the fucking titties, bro. We ain't even two minutes in the video. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. All right, look, all right, look. We right back here. We right back here with, with old girl. She was saying she think fat is it, it, all right. Like I said, it's, I don't think it's necessarily a good thing. Say, for instance... I don't, I think, I do think a lot of fat people do cope with the fact that they're fat by saying they love themselves and saying that they're proud to be fat and they love being fat. I do think that it's a cope because I do think if they could be in shape or have an aesthetic physique that they would most definitely choose that over being fat. Say for instance, there's plenty of fat dudes in this chat right now. Tell me right now, would you rather be the size that you are? I'm talking about the ones who are actually fat. Some of y'all niggas know damn well. We've seen y'all niggas on face reveals and everything like that. Would you rather be fat or would you rather be, or would you rather have an aesthetic physique? You got to be real here. You know what I'm saying? 
I don't even know what her face looked like. I I have I I have yet to look at like I I couldn't get past the titties. Where's a rose cone for all this? He need to hear this. Now he really do. You know what I'm saying? They cope because they see becoming fit as un, as an unattainable goal. That's a fact. The chosen one. The skinny fat count? No. I'm talking about being actually fat. Aesthetic because I'm already fat. See what I'm saying? Uh, Thought Roche said he want to be swole. Um, being proud of it is crazy, but I'm just chilling for real. See. But I'm saying, like, would you not rather have that aesthetic physique or would you rather, like, say, for instance, there's never been, like. W Milk Blasters. <laughs> Dog, what the, f the titties ain't even on the screen. But, like, say, for instance, with me, right? I love going places and taking my shirt off. I literally love it, bro. I love not only the attention that I get, but I love it because I love looking at myself. Every single day I wake up and I look in my mirror just looking at myself like, damn, I really look like a fucking football player. After every workout, I love staring at myself. Why? Because of how much it took to get here. It's not because I woke up with this shit. Bro, the one nigga, uh, Dan, on face on uh, Twitter, I mean, bro, the nigga's naturally built. He never worked out. The nigga worked out for two days and started gaining muscle. No, 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 two weeks and started gaining muscle. Bro, two weeks. That's all it took. Naturally aesthetic physique. Bro, I guarantee you he loves looking at himself. Bro, the thing is, though, with a nigga like him, even if he don't love looking at himself, it didn't take much to get there. With somebody like me, it took a lot to get here. I love looking at it. I love, because I, I don't just see, oh, man, I was born with this. I always, I see, yo, look at all of that hard work you put in, bro. Look at that. All of you fat motherfuckers, when you go and look in that mirror and go look at yourself, what hard work did you put in to get fat? What hard work, bro? Bro, y'all seen SSJ Cassie Bear? Y'all seen, um, y'all seen Tim? Do y'all see these niggas' physiques? Bro, that ain't easy to attain, bro. I guarantee you them niggas love looking at themselves. Why you think they post some pictures with their uh, they shirts off? Why you think I post pictures with my shirts off? Why you think I post videos? Why you think I love taking videos of myself? Nigga, every time I'm in the gym, I'm taking videos of myself. Bro, I love... Nigga, I love looking at my front, my back. I love looking at my front, my back. Nigga, I, I don't care. Nigga, I love looking at myself. I will take my shirt off whenever the fuck I can. Wherever I go. Whenever I go to a pool, I can't wait to get there and take my shirt off. All you fat niggas with the wife beater. Looking like BFB the Pac-Man. Some of y'all fat niggas with the white tee. It be summertime. Y'all fat niggas walking around with the towel. Thank you, Dirk. I am fat. I appreciate that. Hold on. You really do be staring at yourself when you work out consistently. Facts. Do you take pics in the gym shower? I don't even go in the gym shower. Y'all think they packing though? No homo. Oh, my God. Of course. You hesitate a little. Well oh. Don't clip that. Do not clip that. Don't clip that. Bro, I feel you on that. Not on that not on that part. Don't clip that. Don't clip that. Don't clip that. Um but yeah. Um don't clip that. Don't clip that. I like chill. Don't clip that. I'm not fat. I'm trying to gain muscle mass. Well, skull breaker, all you gotta do is put in that work. It takes a lot of fucking work, bro. It takes a lot of work. Don't get it twisted. Me looking like this, it ain't easy. This shit took years, bro. What the hell would I be mad at you for, Selena? The fuck? Why would I be mad at you? the hell don't clip that king of men talking about uh looking at yourself i do that too fucks with tizzy facts i love looking at myself every time i'm in the mirror bro every time every time i'm done with a workout when i wake up in the morning when i'm even done eating i love looking at myself when i'm done eating you know why you know why i love looking at myself when i'm done eating because before every time i look at myself when i'm done eating stomach stick out now i look at myself when i'm done eating I'm like nigga how how did you get like this nigga Bro, leave the wife beat niggas alone. That's okay. why you look like a great value safari. Fuck you. Nah, bro. But for real, when you start working on yourself, because you told me I got you fucked up. Nah, I just said you got me fucked up as far as like, I'll, if a girl ever tell me she fuck with another nigga, you got me too fucked up. There's no way in hell. I don't play like that. Yeah, so that's what I just said. That, that don't mean anything. We still, you still part of DSG. Yeah, just, I, I don't acknowledge the nigga part no more. I'm trying to lose fat. I'm not uh, looking to gain muscle in honesty. Worry is him. No, you are trying to gain muscle. You want to lose fat and you will gain muscle in the process of losing that. The thing is, you just don't know how you look with that.
that muscle. You don't know if that's attainable. The thing is, who wouldn't want muscle? Think about this for a second, bro. You really mean to tell me you're fat right now and you don't want to add, you don't want to be able to slim down and then build muscle on top of that. You mean to tell me you really want to get all the way to where you're just skinny. That's it, bro. That's really it to where you just want to be skinny. Like, say, for instance, I'm not saying you want to look like a fucking bodybuilder. I, don't, I ain't saying you trying to be the next Chris Blumstead. Daquan, how do you stop going back for seconds when the food uh, be busting too much? Call me Chip. It's about discipline, bro. It's about discipline. That's how easy it is. It's not easy at all. Don't get it twisted, but it's discipline. Bruh, if I want to, I'd... Bruh, if I, if, I, if I could, I'd go eat fried chicken right now. I'd eat... Nigga, I'd eat a bunch of fried chicken wings with honey and hot sauce on it. And then eat baked macaroni and a horde of green beans and cornbread. You know what's stopping me? The fact of knowing... Exactly how I will look if I go do that. Can I eat that and can I eat that one day? Yes. And guess what? That's my meal for the day. Pig out on all of that shit. Eat it. That's it. Then go right back to the diet. But what stops me from eating all of this shit is knowing what it took to get here. You ain't not. Nah, ain't happening. No, oh, I definitely ain't. You sucking up nigga balls. You got to be fucked up. We ain't being around each other. Oh, I told you, I don't know what type of nigga you take me for. I think you must think I'm one of these niggas that need it. I definitely don't need that pussy. I don't need any of that. You go fuck with another nigga in here that needs that, and you go fuck with another nigga that do that to you. Just a little cheat day. Yeah, yo, peace guy gaming. Don't get it twisted. I have plenty of cheat days. I have my cheat days. Hold on, Brick Pickle set up. That's what I had for dinner, and it was a small ass portion, so I didn't have 8K calories today. Now, the fact that you really be having to eat so much to gain is crazy. That's crazy. Bro, I'd love some fried chicken right about now. Dog, when I tell y'all niggas, I got a whole batch of grilled chicken that I got to eat. It sucks, bro. It doesn't suck, but it kind of does because it's like, damn. But if I could, I'd just, I'd eat real fried chicken. I'd be having to eat oven fried chicken. Shit sucks. But you got to do what you got to do to maintain shit like this, bro. Like I said, you look at niggas like FedEx. That's extreme discipline, bro. My goal is FR to lean out. I'm at 19% body fat and 52% skeletal muscle. Mm -hmm. RN. Down 35 and counting. That's what I'm talking about, young Mufasa. Congrats, bro. 15 is a very maintainable body weight for men. You you can you can maintain 15%. You get yourself down to 15%, I guarantee you could probably maintain that rel relatively easy. Our uh, skull break said I don't like having cheat days. I don't mind having cheat days because of, like, you have to understand. Okay, Skullbreaker, it's not about your daily calorie deficit. It's about your weekly calorie deficit. So with me, I'll say, today I got 1,200 calories left for the day. I'm probably going to get 700. I have 951 remaining calories yesterday. If I want to, by the end of this week, the other day, I ate one protein cookie. I had 2,011 calories. Bruh, if I want to, by the, if I want to, today I can eat a 3,000 calorie meal in one setting and then go eat even more. And then I'm still fine for the week because I'm in such a deficit. And that's not even counting all of the calories I burned. That's just counting the calorie intake, the deficit that I'd have from not eating as much. So. Well, because I don't think asking, is it okay to be fat, is a correct question to ask. Is it even offensive to say fat person or like big bone person? <laughs> nah, it's fat ass niggas. No, because you know you can call a nigga fat. You can say a fat ass dude, yo, he fat as shit. You want to make that chicken and spaghetti? Yo, this one, DSG, I, want, I literally want to, like so fucking bad. I want to make the fried chicken and spaghetti so goddamn bad. Comfortable in their body. Don't do that. Don't do that to me because y'all going to make me want this shit so bad, bro. Please don't do that. Like, our dead ass want this fried chicken so bad. If they're comfortable in their body, then they're comfortable in their body. Anything that's going to hamper your arteries or anything like that, oh, no, it's not good. I think it's not a... See, the thing is, that's crazy. People will be like, yo, it's cool for everybody else, but they don't want it for themselves. I don't want it for my kids. I don't want it for anybody in my family. Dog, if y'all see my brother, y'all be like, God damn, that nigga brolic as shit. Me and my brother, we look like we take very good care of ourselves. And I love that about us. And... Our children are going to grow up seeing us like this and they'll be like, yeah, there's, I can't allow myself to get fat. Look at my dad. Look at our dads. We, can, we can't get fat like that. You see my kids? Are they fat? Are they chunky? No, nothing. 
They both skinny as hell. You see my little niece? Skinny as hell. There's fat kids out here on my street. There's fat kids in my daughter's school. There's fat kids in my son's school. Definitely in Texas. You done seen plenty of fat kids. We see fat kids all the fucking time. In Walmart and shit. I ain't letting that happen to my kids. Big chicken parmesan. Yo, call me chip. I might do that. Because I got these vegetable noodles. It's so low in calories. Then I got the 96% lean ground beef. Oh, my God. And then I got... Oh, God. I'm doing the chicken Alfredo. I mean, not the chicken Alfredo. The chicken um, parmesan. I'm doing that. Okay. He's not healthy at all. Well, according to my doctor, I'm Call back. me chip. Yo, W, Doug B recommendation. Dub, w recommendation. Thank you. But if you look at the size of my legs... You got mailman calves. Yeah. That is such a generic statement. This nigga was born with those. See, y'all white motherfuckers, I hate when y'all, like, bro, like, bro, do y'all, like, nigga, I hate that y'all white motherfuckers just be born big, because, like, bro, do you see these? Do you see these defined calves? But they so fucking skinny, bro. Y'all white motherfuckers be born big. Be having them big ass Paul Bunyan ass legs, bro. Y'all white motherfuckers, bro. Statement. It's hard to, to say yes or no. I grew up in West Virginia, which happens to be the fattest state. Were you ever fat? The big West Virginia is the fattest state. I never knew that. Biggest I've ever been. I got up to 243. I woke up in the... God damn. Shout out to this nigga for not getting too big the way he'd have uh, loose skin. I looked at myself at 243. Bubbly. My hips hurt. My knees hurt. My ankles hurt. That moment there, I was like, this is not good. I don't like it. It's not for me. But if it's for you, I think you should get after it. It's not. It's not for you. Everybody in this chat, I don't want that to be you. Bro, don't settle. Don't cope with it. You can be better. You can do better. Everybody in here, don't sit there and settle for that shit, man. Don't cope with that shit, bro. Look, a lot of y'all have allowed yourselves to get fat as hell. You can change that shit, man. You want... Look, put it like this. For all the dudes in here that embarrassed to go out there and speak to women, speak to people in general, you, you know the stigma that comes with being fat people. You know what I'm saying? The people's perception of you and everything, bro. Is that how you really want to go throughout your whole life? People just thinking that you lazy? Like, put it like this, bro. If I have a job that requires higher production, I'm not hiring a fat person. Why would I hire a fat person? Knowing that, not even knowing, even thinking. For all I know, this fat person may be the, fat, the fastest person here. But the perception alone would make me not hire them if the job requires higher production. Why? Because I would automatically think that you can't live up to that. You know what I'm saying? You can't live up to that. So, hold on. My biggest was 262. I said, hell nah, LOL. Yo, young Mufasa, you see what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about. But they might want to work. Uh, that helps them. No. I want them to work on Where's themselves. Where's the N-words? Yo, the merchandise. Thank you for the prime 17 months, my nigga. I want them to work on themselves first. Jizzle was fat before, so I want to see what Jizzle said. I really didn't get any of the white perks. What the fuck, man? I get, yo, I got skinny cast, medio mediocre credit. Grew up in the hood getting whooped with switches. I'm a read nigga. I thought this nigga Jizzle was gonna say something about being fat. Uh, hold on. Uh, Dan, that was your hype before. Uh, how do motherfuckers get fat? Eat a real deity. It's easy to get fat. It is extremely easy to get fat. Do you know how good food is, my nigga? Do you know how good food is? Are we ever gonna? Yo, Pharaoh, shut the hell up. Hold on. I was losing mad weight till COVID and just sat around and gained the shit back. So I know fat is an L. See, but as long as you know that, though, the thing is, a lot of y'all like to blame COVID. Oh, I couldn't leave the house. I didn't get fat during COVID. I did not get fat during the entire pandemic. I did not get fat. You got to blame yourself. What do you mean you couldn't get out the house? You could do shit in the house. You ain't got to eat as much. I don't think y'all niggas even realize that. Y'all niggas be like, oh, man, I, no, I got fat during the pandemic. No, nah, you got fat because you ate too much. It's that simple. It's literally that simple. You allowed yourself to eat that much. All you had to do is not eat as much. Are y'all niggas ever imagined to get head from a bitch with no teeth? My nigga, I uh, keep tease a buck could deck one Wiltshire. Yo, chill, bro. Chill, dog. Jizzle said being fat was ass. I ate my bulking meals even after I stopped boxing, eating 10K calories every day, and it fucked me up in all aspects of my life. Do you see what I'm saying? See? Sticky Finger said gain, gaining weight in America is easy as hell. It definitely is. Do y'all know how easy it is to gain weight in America? Dog, the healthiest foods are hard to find. Then they're expensive as hell. Bro, ever since I started eating healthy, you go out there, you can buy a pack of chicken. 
I'll eat the healthiest cuts of chicken and stuff like that, right? And I eat like the good, the good type chicken. You know what I'm saying? No hormones and all extra shit and whatever. Farm raised, all this other shit. Bro, you get the Purdue chicken, Purdue chicken be like eight, eight dollars for like ten chicken breasts. Let's even say ten. I mean eight. Big ass chicken breasts though. Bro, it's a couple pounds of chicken breast. Dog, I get these ones that are four ounces or either six ounces. They cost eight. The eight ounce ones is six eight ounce ones. I mean, no, no, no. Eight six ounce ones. They cost 18 fucking dollars. Yeah, $18. When I get the six four ounce ones, those cost like $12. Purdue, big ass chicken breast. Pounds of it. Cheap. Then, not only that, like I said, look at the snacks. Look at the snacks that I eat. Those protein chips, shit ain't cheap. Let me, let me look it up on Amazon how much I be paying. Because I'm about to have to order some more. Look at this, y'all. This ain't, this ain't cheap, my nigga. $29. And I'm finna order another one. $29 though, bruh. Shit ain't cheap. Let me order it real quick. Go ahead and buy that right now. Need that. Just had to place that order. But yeah, this shit ain't cheap. Then protein cookie. Oh, I should have put the protein cookies in there too. Protein cookies. That shit's not cheap. Um, Not only are the, the protein cookies. Look at all of the, the 96% lean ground beef costs 10 dollars bro i bought three pounds thirty dollars if i get the 75 percent lean ground beef i can get two pounds for like seven dollars two pounds of it three pounds at walmart for like nine dollars three pounds of it big ass thing of it I'm trying to tell you None of, they got protein honey buns i'm looking at protein honey buns oh you got me fucked up i'm definitely looking those up i saw will tennyson tried some shit but uh i think uh it was, uh, he said all this shit was nasty. I'm definitely gonna try those. Uh, yeah. I think those are the ones Will Tennyson tried. He said them shits were ass. But I'm still gonna try them. Yeah, fuck it. But yeah, man. Alright. Yeah, it, it, it's easy as hell to get uh, fat in America because of all the stuff that we eat. And it's extremely unhealthy. Processed as hell. So. Well, I've tried keto cereals, not necessarily protein cereals. Be through fat mannequins or plus size models. The fat acceptance See, the movement has advocated for body positivity for all shapes and sizes. Women of all shapes and sizes do it. Okay, see, now let's run this back. All right, this ain't acceptable. See, I start seeing it like this. Like, I see this and I'm like, all right, you getting there. Go ahead, chill out. I didn't know I got those in the long run. Chips from Amazon. Gonna give yeah, those bro. a try. Yeah, bro. I see shit like this and I'm like, okay, look, you know what's crazy? Um, Niggas, I said niggas, not nah, like I said, I see shit like this and I'm like, I think about the long run. This ain't the worst right here. This ain't where it's like, God damn. But it's like, all right, I see you got, you got some meat on your bones. You can get fat. Make sure you don't let your eating get out of control. I see this right here and I got it. I swear it's one big conspiracy this right here? to keep Americans sick and fat. Nah, it really is though. They're not trying to like, we're, they're not trying to like get us healthy at all. They don't want us healthy. I mean. But then I see this right here, and I'm like, all right, it's out of control now. What, what you got going on here? So, <laughs> yo, Vlad, please. Yo, yo, perfect timing. But thank you for that gift, buddy. Thank you, bro. But yeah. Women of all shapes and sizes do exist, mm -hmm. and it's important that you see yourself represented. Big Girl Summer has officially... I see this right here, and I already know. This is out of control. Why would I want to have a child with this? If I have a child with this, I can't imagine how you're going to look after the child. If you've allowed yourself to get like this with no children whatsoever, you've allowed yourself to get like this with no children. Imagine after you have children, not even just one child. Imagine if you have more than one child. But with America's high obesity rates, we must question the importance of acceptance versus its consequence. And then damn it. Like I said, bro, everywhere I go, I see morbidly obese people, bro. Every single place I go, man. And like I said, with me helping people out, you know what I'm saying, giving fitness and nutrition tips and shit like that, bro, I'm 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 hoping, you know what I'm saying, I can help as many people as I possibly can. Why do you think I've been helping niggas out for free? You know what I'm saying? With it's a it's a a protein cinnamon roll. I'm looking that up too. 
No, I didn't, Dirk. Fuck you. But this is just easy for me to say because I've played sports my whole life. And more importantly, isn't acceptance the first step to self-improvement? Guess we gon' see. Can you- Let's- let's hit I get them from Walmart Plus and yay, they're expensive. I make my own protein cookies. Mm -hmm. Use coconut flour, it's high in fiber and you use a third of it when subbing for one cup of regular flour. I ain't got time I to make custom my protein, I protein from brownies. True. There are so many flavors and you can choose what you want in it. I, I use sugar-free chocolate chips, stevia and aerosol in baking. Just got a waffle iron to make protein see, waffles. See, oh yeah, I gotta make protein waffles. But I don't eat, see, I don't eat in the morning. I don't eat breakfast. I don't really like eating in the morning. I, I like eating, you know what I'm saying? I don't like eating in the morning at all. I like like waking up with my stomach empty so I can get out there and just work, do whatever I need to do, get all my tasks and shit done for the day. Be healthy and obese. Oh, yes, you can. You can be classified as obese and still be healthy. I'm classified as obese. With my weight and my height, I'm classified as obese. Yes, you can be obese and be healthy. Do y'all think I am morbidly obese? Do y'all think I am unhealthy? Bodybuilders are classified as obese. You are not going to tell a bodybuilder you're fat. You know what I'm saying? You can definitely be obese and still be healthy. Yes. There are NFL players out there that can outrun me. There are linemen out there that can outrun me, that are in way better shape than me and are classified as obese. So, uh, uh, yo, Demi Lord said, are you obese or overweight? They would say I'm both. I would think I'm classified as both. Nigga, you fat. Thank you, Dirk. Thank you. You're active and eat the right shit, though. I do, the but I'm, I'm healthy. True nutrition true nutrition. I eat brunch first meal at noon or two. I do all my eating between 12 or 2 to 5 p.m. So I don't try to eat between a certain window. I only eat like that because I'm usually busy. But I'm looking that up right now. True nutrition. All right, thank you. I'm going to check out the macros on it and see if they're better than Quest. If they're better than Quest, then, you know what I'm saying, I may find if they taste good, though, too, because Quest been having the best taste and shit. But those protein donuts, that they're not from Quest. Those shit's kind of dry. They dry as hell, but low in calories. But too much sugar alcohol is also. I'm classified as a big old fat bitch. It's about muscle to fat ratio. It is. Uh, do you do push-ups? If so, how many? Uh, guard cam. We I did fifty the other day on stream, but we did a push up challenge to see who could do more push ups than me. I think it was only two niggas that even got up to fifty, but nobody did more than me. It's tough, you know. You know, you can be healthy and still be bigger. These big wrestlers in Japan, I, I forgot their name. Oh, sumo wrestler. Yeah, exactly. I feel like they're strong. <laughs> like I play volleyball. I play soccer. Sumo wrestlers. You feel me? Them like, but they are. They are morbidly obese, the sumo wrestlers, obviously. I was a competitive cheerleader, so I think it all just kind of, it all encompasses in what you're able to do. I'm not a doctor. I, I probably wouldn't want to answer that at all. I, Let me ask you this then. Like, what does it mean to be healthy? Well, mental health is very important. I, I'm sorry. I, like, is my eyes don't even, read, like, I don't even know she has a face. Soon, like, right there. Nigga, soon as they got there, bruh. Like, it was no hesitation whatsoever. My eyes went straight there. Like, it, and it's weird. Like, how do we have that? It's like titty detection? What is that? They're not looking at you, Dirk. They would never. They would never. I'm right here. But how do we do that? Like, how does that happen? Like, it don't even... Is, is it autocorrect or something? Like, what is it, Clementine? Because, nah, how is that possible? The fact that, like, you see two people talking and, and it's like your eyes... Like, it's literally like this. This is exactly what happened. Like, it's what like... What does it mean to be healthy? Well, mental right, health is very important. It, it was right that. It just did that immediately. It was nowhere else but the titties, bro. It's weird, man. Like, it's like, how do our eyes do that? Like, how do we go from looking at this nigga while he talking and that side of the screen right to the titties? Aim assist. Aim... <laughs> nigga said aim assist. Bro, aim assist... Nah, facts though. And you can also make your own nigga, oatmeal assist. as well as protein shakes. Just aim drop assist. 150 oh on getting these different proteins that have beef collagen and different beef protein collagen. mixes from egg white to whole egg and beef protein. Bet. I'm going to look up what you got for True Nutrition. I'm definitely looking that up. I'll also look up that. Because um, well, I don't know. I don't, eat, I don't make protein shakes. 
Protein oatmeal, I can definitely do, but I don't eat, I don't eat protein shakes. I don't do protein shakes. They fuck my stomach up. But these titties, though. And also physical health, of course. I don't think anyone's purely... I forgot what she said. What does it mean to be healthy? Well, mental health is very important. And also physical health, of course. I don't think anyone's... All encompasses in what you're able to do. I'm not a doctor. I probably wouldn't want to answer that at all. I... Let me ask you this then. Like, what does it mean to be healthy? Well, mental health is very important. And also physical health, of course. I don't think... You don't know anyone's purely healthy. You're able to have. She says something about mental health. Healthy tendencies. I have a brother who was a trap athlete who was an alcoholic. So I think it just depends on the tendencies you choose to focus on. So I wanted to know isn't health more than just the weight on the scale? My titty sense is tingling. Titty senses. Health isn't just about physical appearance, right? There's also things like mental, spiritual health. Do you think you can just say that just because you're fat, you're not healthy? If you're fat, emotional, you won't be good, you know, because you feel bad. Your clothes doesn't fit. It is horrible. Were you ever... Okay, everybody in here who is fat, definitely morbidly obese, and you know if you're morbidly obese. Does it affect your mental health? I want to know. I genuinely want to know. Does it affect your mental health? Anyone in here? There's a few of y'all niggas that I know is morbidly obese. Does it affect your mental health? Shiny Dwarf, I was just about to ask you how was it when you, uh, you know, reached your highest point. Yes, it did. Yes. Why wouldn't it? This nigga MMA fan said the answer is black, answer is black ninja. Yo, yo, chill, bro. I ain't calling niggas out. Damn, bro. A strong Fuck body yeah. is a strong mind. Cobra date. But what about a fat one? Yo, uh, where's your mother told me fat ass niggas? Uh, see... Uh, see, like this lady in a pink has some titties, but they're not really doing it for me. I'm not. When even, I was my head, I didn't even still notice. Felt like shit. See, so it did affect your mental. It does affect the mental, health, the mental health. Young Mufasa said, "What does morbidly mean?" You don't know what morbidly means, bro. What? I know someone that is, and it does. Okay, yes. Even uh, being a little overweight, it fucked my mental health. Wow. Okay. Nah, it just turned you into a comedian about everything. That's a cope. I feel like that's. A, I feel like that's a cope, not a Roshi. That may be a cope. You see a lot of people in here. They're answering and saying that yeah, it definitely uh, it definitely affects their health. I mean, their mental health. And Teddy's heavy. I know they hurt her back. I'm heavy, but it doesn't really. Uh, I just get away with me it because I'm really tall. Okay, you being tall. Okay, you're tall. Yeah. I'd be sad because my dick obese. Black Ninja is big. Yes, it did. Make Your me, mind, body, make and it. spirit are disconnected. If you really want to be healthy, you have to be in your best physical shape. And, bro, the way you'll feel the, the best about yourself also, I'm trying to tell y'all, you be in the best physical shape every single day I wake up, and I'm happy as hell to just go out there and just do shit. Bro, anything I do, I wake up in the morning, I'm ready to tackle the day. Bro, like like right now, I, like y'all see me on these streams. Y'all see how, how much I be like, yo, I'm ready to get off the stream and, and be able to go to sleep and hit the gym in the morning. I can't wait. Like, nigga, I love being active. I love walking around. My daughter and my son, they say I walk too fast. I walk fast as I walk with a purpose. You feel me? I walk, like, I love it. In my best shape in my 20s, I was always happy and smiling, and that attracts people as well. Bro, and it shows discipline. In your best shape, like I said, when people look at me, they see discipline. I get stared at a lot, especially when I'm coming from the gym after doing upper body. I always get stared at. You happy to get some chicken and spaghetti? Yo, chill with the chicken and spaghetti because y'all going to make me eat that shit. Chill, bro. But yeah, man. Nah, when, nah I, I, I seriously get, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can look at me and tell I'm disciplined. When I look at someone who is extremely overweight, I don't see discipline. I see an extreme lack of discipline. Hey, Quan, how about you answer fat, nigga? <laughs> Dirk, all right, you taking this fat thing a little far, bro. Not really. I've been through uh, shit. Being fat ain't really a pro uh, problem mentally. Gorillas always get started at the zoo the exhibits. Fat, like in any time of your life. Like six months ago, I was fat. What What does that mean? I I, I just don't believe her. I, I gotta see what she calls fat. I got cancer and I was Whoa. on. Um, Never mind. Medicine, hormone therapy, even cancer is a problem because of weight, you know? Now let's dig further and see what the other side would say. Okay. America has a really big push for body positivity and fat acceptance. It's okay to be fat. It's I'm trying. Healthy to be fat. I don't, I don't support that. Why? I think it's okay. I could support them titties. Like, I could find broad. It's okay to be fat. It's healthy I to be fat. I don't, I don't support Like, those are, bro.
You, no, you know what? Poor that. Why? I think it's okay to accept your body, but if it's like health concern. What the fuck? There's a Jamaican nigga out there. There's a dark skinned nigga in this chat. Clementine. There is Clementine in this chat. That's Clementine right there. Don't say my BM. None of y'all niggas better say my BM. None of y'all niggas better say my BM. This ain't my BM. Chill. This ain't my BM. Clementine, you the dark skinned nigga in here that to do that. Niggas that get the harpoon. This is definitely this is definitely the one that Clementine. I got Clementine on that, bro. Yo, I yo, who got who who think Clementine to do this? Who think Clementine to do that? Keep it a thousand. Keep it a thousand. Who think Clementine to do it? Who think Clementine with it? I know Clementine with it. Any skinny? Clementine, a skinny nigga? A skinny, dark skin nigga? Come on, bruh. Come on, bruh. Come on, bruh. You're a skinny, dark skin nigga, bro. We know Clementine. Come on, dog. Clementine knocking us down. Yo, pull it up. We pulled it up. Yo, everybody vote on the poll right now. Clementine knocking us down. What do you know? Because I know he is, bro. It guaranteed. Guaranteed, bruh. While her, leg, while her legs fall off in layers. Nah, Clementine definitely hitting this. He's, he is skinny. For everybody who don't know, Clementine is a skinny, dark-skinned nigga. He is a skinny, dark-skinned nigga. He might be Jamaican. Give me 10 shots of bourbon, and I'll what? What the fuck did you say? 10 shots of bourbon. I never wanted to I go get... anywhere in public. If I had to run errands, I wanted to get things done and get out as quick as possible. I hated looking at myself in the mirror. When I got sober, my mind was clear again and started back in the gym. Hell it really yeah. isn't fun being morbidly obese at all. Exactly. This morning, I went hiking with my girl till noon hiking. and didn't feel tired at all or took any breaks. With I them low ass so legs, too. I proud of myself of how far I'm back in shape. That's a fact, bro. And you got them low ass legs and little baby legs, too. You know what I'm saying? You got to, like, trot and shit when you walk. You know what I'm saying? I try to keep up with her, so... Yeah, nah, I feel you. I definitely feel you, bro. Hi, Daquan. As you know, on July 1st, I was 240 pounds. I just weighed myself, and I'm Fat 232 hell. pounds now. I have lost over 27 pounds from May 1st. Let's go! I still feel like shit, not gonna lie. Is that bad or understandable? No, 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 no. Look, don't feel like shit. Be happy at your progress, but also know that 232 pounds is not your goal. That is not your end goal. So know that. Be proud of yourself. That's a but BM right there. That's not my... I already said Falcon. Chill out. I already said don't even try that. But look, no. So the thing is, Storm, remember, 232 is not the goal. You shouldn't feel bad. Feel happy at the fact that you made progress. But just know that's not the end goal, so don't stop there. And don't say to yourself, oh, I done lost this much weight. Cheat meal time. You know what people... You know what that happens to a lot of people? Then they don't have a cheat day. They have a cheat week. Oh, no, I'm good. I lost 27 pounds. I know how to lose it. And then they go right back. Because they don't realize how fast that weight can come right back. They have that one cheat week. And they gain it all back in a week. So just know that, bro. You made progress. You're, that's good right there. You should not feel bad. But just know. You got to keep going. Turning, going on the internet and saying I'm so happy. Like, come on, bro. There's no way you're proud of this. You can't be. Dog, that's her stomach right here. Like, bro, you cannot be. That's her stomach. That's her stomach. That's her stomach. I, I don't know if that's her titties or her stomach. Think of either world need to say, okay, yeah, I've hit my limit. Like, bro, this is crazy. This is crazy. She got a six pack of kebabs. What? Her stomach got a back. <laughs> but nah, this is real though, bro. This is... Happy with myself. I'm so... Okay, I had to, you know what I'm saying, pause. I don't know what this girl's saying. Like, every time I come back to the titties. And I... And 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 I know the pussy good because I can tell because I know she got the elbows that show the pussy is good. Like, it be the elbows, right? Like, some of them joints, when they got the little elbow, little elbow meat that hang a little bit. I could tell when she, you know what I'm saying, got her arm straight now. She got the little elbow meat. That right there, that show that that pussy gonna be falling off the bone, my nigga. I'm not gonna hold y'all, bro. That pussy over there marinating. 
You feel me? Sorry, I don't believe you. I don't think that you should shame people. I don't think that you should just say, hey, that's okay. No, it starts. I don't think you should go around shaming random people. Hell no. That is one thing I am against. Now, my friends, that's different. Me and my friends are completely different. Me and my community here, you see the way I even talk to y'all. Y'all being my streaming community. Yes, my community in general. I will fat shame y'all. Why? Because y'all even say y'all are cool with it because um, it keeps y'all accountable. What do you suggest my end goal be? Last time I told you all I lost 70 pounds, I was at 275. Now I'm at 255 even, but I'm 6 feet 5 inches and used to play offensive line, so my build's still the same. But you ain't off. You said used to. You ain't playing the offensive line right now, my nigga. Lose that weight. I don't know what 265 looks, 255 looks on you. I don't know how that looks on you. You're 6'5". You may be one of them big, you know what I'm saying, strong man competitor built type niggas. You may be one of them big ass Paul Bunyan type niggas. I don't know how you actually look, you know what I'm saying, at 255. So I can't tell you. You have to know what your own end goal is. Does that look good? I have no clue. You could be too, you got, okay, Chris Bumstead is 6'1", and he weighs 265. Nigga, damn that pure muscle, though. Do you see what I'm saying? So I have no clue what you look like at 6'5", 255 pounds. Chris Bumstead, bruh, just, just for the people who don't know who Chris Bumstead is, so y'all can see. This is what 265 pounds of pure muscle looks like. Uh, let's find a picture of this nigga. This is what 265 pounds of pure muscle looks like. So I, and at 6'1". So I have no clue what you actually look like at 255 and 6'5". So, yeah. And that's pure muscle. So, like, obviously, there's nothing but muscle there. So, yeah. Like, it's crazy to be that big. Like, it's fucking crazy. So, but it's pure muscle. Then you see how it looks even in the off season. So, and this is not bad at all. This is not a bad build at all. So I wouldn't know how you look at 255 because I think in this off season, he weighs, I think, around like 265. I don't think he even gets that much smaller than what he, you know what I'm saying? I mean, that much bigger in his off season as far as weight-wise. So, yeah. But, yeah. There it is, accept me and then help me. But then it moves into, no, just accept me. I'm just going to keep eating. You can't tell me what to do. They think that the... Like, like I said, the fact that there's a such thing as fat talk is crazy, man. Enabling people to become morbidly obese like that? Oh, yes, it is okay to be fat. Let's let's eat more. I don't think... This Jay Dollar said, let me stop bullshitting and hit the gym. That's what I'm saying. I want y'all to come in here and be like that, bro. I got to hit the gym. I got to get out there and get this body that I want. Why y'all? I'm still working on a body that I want. I don't have my dream physique, but I know damn well I can get close to it. I know I can. but And y'all can too. But it's going to take a lot of work. Are you willing to put in that work? Every one of you fat motherfuckers in here that are actually fat as fuck and you know, are you willing to put in that work? You saw how many people keep coming over here telling y'all how much weight they lost. Don't you want that to be you? Crunk Jeezy, shut the hell up. Crunk Jeezy, skinny as shit. Why the hell would you even? Shut the hell up. Jeezy, if you don't stay in a skinny nigga place, the fuck? <laughs> he said even the skinny niggas. Nah, yeah, y'all skinny niggas, yes, yes. Y'all can gain some weight. You know what I'm saying? Get some muscle, Crunk Jeezy. But nigga, <laughs> you willing to put in the work? Yes. But I'm talking about all of the people that know. All right, look, I have, I want to get this physique. I ain't got to cope anymore. Remember, you see how many people keep coming in telling us about these extreme weight losses. Don't you want that to be you? That can be you, but you have to put in that work. It's going to take a lot of discipline, a lot of hard work, a lot of effort, but you got to do it. It is a good idea to make uh, that movement. I agree with that movement, and I like it, and I think it's okay. Because Where is this nigga at? Well, how is he finding all of these people that don't speak English? Like that, like... Because not everybody looks the same way. Sometimes you're not fat and Where? some people call you fat. Yeah, it's not okay. But I was a ballet dancer and I Where quit because of that, so imagine. It's great for people to feel good, yeah, but like I would rather, like, promote more healthy stuff than seeing models that are fat. We I do push-ups on the job on my break. 
That's good. When I was working dispatch, I used to do 10 push-ups every hour. By the end of a 12-hour shift, you've done 120 push-ups. Chris Bumstead has great genetics and definitely puts genetics, in the yes, work, he but he's on the gas, and I hope he won't end up like a lot of gassy that have been passing away young. I'm not laughing at what you said. It's a lot of gussy. Yo, Mzuda, you gotta, you gotta slow down when you're typing, bro. Because you can't say something serious like that and say gussy, bro. You can't, dog. Like, no, you can't. Like, because I know what you meant. But you can't be saying, you can't, you gotta slow that down when you're typing that. Because you can't just say, you know what I'm saying, gussy. You don't do that. So, yeah. But Mzuda, now I definitely feel, you know what I'm saying? But if you saw Chris Bumstead when he was natural, when he was a teenager, genetics was crazy. His genetics are fucking crazy. But I definitely understand where you come from. Now niggas in the chat keep typing gussy. We accept this as the as the norm. I don't think that's a, that's a good thing. And when media has the power to shape culture, it's worth examining what's being shown. I think there is a trend now of glamorizing. Yeah, this is crazy. Tess Holiday promoting this image right here, and then this girl right here doing the same thing. I think there was this was crazy. Like this is and the thing is with Tess Holiday with her not being ugly also, knowing that if she lost a lot of weight, she'd actually like be a really pretty woman is crazy. This this is like this is out of control. And the fact that they promote this and say that this is the image of beauty. It's like with Lizzo and the black community they're trying to say she's the the standard for beauty for black women. No, she's not. She's not the standard of beauty for black women. There's a trend now of glamorizing more Jay Dollar, you remember that stream, bro? The obesity. Uh, uh, Tamiya Modu said, uh, yo, who is Tess? You. Dog. I always carried my weight well. I always just been physically kinder on a Zion type of build. Now I just got slim, even though I'm 255. Is that a mushroom? <laughs> Is that a mushroom? Mega. Lol, Gussy, I'm on my anabolic sleep cocktail. You, you... Gabba 46 milligrams dissolved melatonin in vanilla seltzer in Squill, and I think it's taking effect. Is that, is that what's going on? It's crazy. It don't even feel like hard work when it becomes second nature and lifestyle. Went from 236 feet 2 inches to 190 pounds. It's hard work, trust, and it don't get easier. You just get stronger with a better lifestyle and mindset. Praying gesture. We Not got fact. this DSG. We definitely do got this, bro. Her legs are holding on to dear life. This is this is crazy. I I can't I can't believe they be promoting this on TikTok, bro. They really be out here saying. I'm gonna keep it a G. I just came off a cheat week, not cause I chose week. it as a cheat week. A whole week. But the reason I did it was because I realized to cope with my shitty life and my problems I eat See what for I mean? temporary happiness. But I reactivated my Planet Fitness membership, and I'm going tomorrow for sure. That's good, cause Storm. After I eat, I feel like shit. I, and, but I'm done okay. being a big old fat bitch. See, Any look at you though. to not do that shit again? Uh, discipline. I can't really keep giving you advice on it. You have to be able to tell yourself that you can and you what you need to do. You just said you had a whole cheat week, my nigga. There's no, bro, think about it like this. Do you see me and the way I look? I, I don't even think of a cheat week, bro. A full on week of cheating on your diet. After losing that much weight, you said the food made you feel good while you ate it, but then made you feel like shit afterwards. It's literally post food, what, post hunger clarity? What the fuck, like, post full clarity? Let me let me get this off the screen real quick. But yeah, bro, it's just like how niggas feel bad whenever they done beating their dick. So. So good. I can do things while being... Yo. Fat, and if I were to Niggas die. Be masters at that bulking and cutting shit I'm taking in all the knowledge. I'm oh six God. feet two inches, 177 bean grinding, but skinny fat still. I'm trying to get to 170 to shave this shit off, then go crazy building muscle mass. As long as you're in that deficit, bro, you good, bro. You'll get there. 
Niggas be masters at bulking and cutting. It, they, the bulking and cutting shit is main gaining will help you out a lot better than bulking and cutting. I'm not going to hold you. Slight calorie surpluses. A lot of people go with a dirty bulk. I did it. I gained 13 pounds, lost in 11 days. I gained 13 pounds in a month and a half, lost in 11 days. It's not good to do that. Bulking like that. You need a I will look slight bulk. Must, let's get it, DSG. That's what I'm talking about, Mufasa. Oh, my Lord, y'all. Tomorrow, I wouldn't regret it. I am fat, and there's no shame in it for me. Now, look, influencers have always existed from Jesus to traditional celebrities, and now micro influencers. And so, with social media, we can now connect with these fat motherfuckers are not micro people in what any niche that speak to us in our viewpoints, including fat influencers. You are beautiful just the way you are. No fat talk. Okay. See, this is the type of joint that a, that a fat fishy on a on a on a date in there because she don't look like she'd be like that. Like you don't see the stomach out like that. But the thing is, this ain't morbidly obese. This is fat. This is like overweight. It's obese. This ain't morbidly obese. I wouldn't look at this girl and say, "Yo, you in danger of dying over your weight." No one owes you. I ain't even gotta see the body to know. All right, hit that flight of stairs. Let's see you walk up that flight of stairs and we're going to see where you at. I can look at this one and tell. You feel me? This, this is one. Their body. And on the surface, it's a message that most of us can get behind of self-love and acceptance. But on the other hand, is this a message that's contributing to the... Do not accept being fucking morbidly obese. That you have terrible eating habits for the most part. I'm talking about for the people who are in control of their weight. You literally have absolutely no discipline and terrible eating habits. What the fuck do you mean be comfortable with yourself and love? Hell no. You don't love yourself. If you allow yourself to get like that, you don't, you do not love yourself. The obesity epidemic. Have body positivity. Some Knowing all of the risk that are involved, you do not love yourself. Trap themselves and their audience in their own message. <laughs> For years, Adele has been known as one of the Shout out to Adele for losing all that weight Most successful musicians of her generation And it so happened that not only was she known for her talents But also viewed as an icon And she known for getting a dark skin nigga When she was, nah, she lost that weight though And got with a dark nigga A body positivity I don't want to be some skinny mini with my tits out I'm just writing love songs But on May 2020 after post And, 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 and then guess what you did You became that skinny mini Adele See an IG pic of her significantly Look at her I told y'all, it's a cope it's literally a cope, y'all. She just didn't want to be the skinny mini with her titties out, but she wanted to be the skinny mini. Bruh, they, they, bruh, I be trying to tell y'all, didn't BB Rexa do the same shit? Y'all remember the, the video, my video about fat acceptance? What happened? BB Rexa did the exact same shit. Oh, body positive, be body positive, love yourself. Then she made a video crying, saying how much she hated herself when she was fat. She said, I hated myself when I gained weight. She said, I couldn't stand to look at myself. She said, I had to keep saying it over and over online so I could hopefully love myself because all of your comments and shit were trying to help me love myself. But I fucking hated looking at myself. Look at Adele. I didn't want to be a skinny mini. What the fuck do you call this, Adele? What do you call this? Adele, I didn't want to be, a, I don't want to be a skinny mini. Coping. Bruh. Losing weight, some of her fans started accusing her of betraying the body positivity movement, even when it wasn't her Why, intended was problem. So many women were mad when Adele lost all that weight. I was body positive then and I'm body positive now. But it's not my job positive. to validate how people feel about their bodies. And it's not just Adele. From positive. Jonah Hill to countless- Yo, shout out to Jonah Hill for, for realizing. I didn't know she lost this much weight. Holy shit. She's always been a fat funny girl in videos. Shout out to Jonah Hill. Adele from jo Shout out to Jonah Hill. He knew it. Nigga knew damn well he can't go his whole life like this. Hell nah. Okay, emo Adele was always super attractive. Adele wasn't ugly. Jonah Hill to countless others. Losing weight was like I don't know what she's but shout out to her. Jonah Hill's weight has I been forgot her name. about as much as his movies. It is a big deal. People are obsessed with it. And so the same people that are advocating for body acceptance of all shapes and sizes are the same ones calling betrayal for losing weight. Do you think Nah, no bullshit. That is the weirdest Do you think thing ever. Would wave be sad cause he fat? I look, I I don't know. He makes nothing but sad songs, so probably. Body positivity, aka the big old fat bitch movement, to quantum precious fat. underscore TK. The fat bitch movement. Really, nigga? A culture of fat openness? I'm sorry. It, 
there's no way, dog, that I just do that immediately. There's no fucking way, bro. Like how? Nah, for real, DJ man. Khalid, how, Mad dog? And Rod Wave next. There's no way, bro. There's no way, dog. Nah, how? How? No, hold on a second, man. Same ones calling There's betrayal for losing weight. Do you think a culture of fat openness? Come on, dog. There's. I can at least go one clip without looking at her titties, dog. Creates a population of more fat people. One fat clip, people bro. will always also have this. Dog. It, it, man, come on, man. Come on, dog. Come on, bro. Got a smear crazy under them flat bags. I wash them. I wash under her titties for her, bro. You got me fucked up. You talking about it smell crazy in them, Zulu. You wildin'. I wash right under them titties for her. Lift them bitches up. Wax on, wax off, nigga. I'm right under there. Insecurities. That's why they build a community. Secure titties. Where they push and support each other. I want to push and support them titties. Fuck. I said, if it's half concerning, I don't think. You see how when she talking, the motherfuckers moving. This movement should be like too strong. So has the movement become too extreme? I actually feel kind of guilty for being a part of this movement, being a pioneer in this game. Like I literally was one of the first influencers to work with Fashion Nova before they even had a plus. I just don't think there's a way that niggas look at things like this and be like, yup, I want to hit that. Like, I got to have that unless you have no options. I'm sorry. I just don't got it in. I just don't really see it as like niggas being like, yup, this is what I really, this is what I genuinely desire. This is what I've always wanted. Like, I just don't got that. I just don't got that. It, it, I really be thinking it'd be dudes that, like, you know what I'm saying? It's because they just don't have any options, bro. Or unless you fetishize fat girls. But Crunk Jeezy, you see dudes that fetishize fat girls, but look at how they be looking, bro. Look at the dudes that be fetishizing them, dog. Size line, but let's be f***ing for real. Health is real. Diabetes, heart disease. Okay, okay, shout out to her. All that shit is real, okay? It's not fat phobic to care about your health. And if somebody's telling you that, it's because they're miserable and they want you to die and stay fat like them. Because if question. <sighs> Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> That's the fuck I like to hear right there. And I'm running that right back. And I'm running that right back. Everybody in here. Y'all hear it from a woman. That's what I'm so proud to hear that from a woman. But let's be f***ing for real. Health is real. Diabetes, heart disease, Where's all that shit is real, okay? The it's not thing for the prom five care months. about your health. And if somebody's telling you that, it's because they're miserable and they want you to die and stay fat like them. Because if... Thank you. Yo, thank you for those prom five months too, DeVito. Thank you, bro. Questioning the issue is seen as an attack. Does it suggest that... If fat people are unhealthy, then what the fuck that make y'all? Like, you big bitch. Are you... More of the focus is on promoting obesity. How can they be looking at themselves like, yup, this is what it, but y'all peeped though, right? Have y'all peeped it yet? Anybody notice the trend? I'm not even going to say anything. Anybody notice it yet though? Hey, I know everybody had to notice it by now. What's the trend here, bro? What's the, what's the trend here, bro? What's the trend here, y'all? Kaiser, it ain't mostly. Thank you. All, literally all. Thank you, Chaotic Dark Hearts. All. All of them. All women. I ain't seen a single fat nigga up here yet. Talking about on TikTok and nothing. It ain't nothing but women. No, niggas saying they all white. We just saw a black girl. Not this girl. We just saw a black one. What are you talking about? And then Lizzo. What the? Y'all talking about they all white. What the fuck? To die and stay fat like them. Because if questioning the issue is seen as an attack. Does it what is she? This look white to you? No, nigga, it's nothing but women. All of this fat accepting shit, you ain't see nothing about a dude come up here. You ain't see a dude get on here yet on TikTok promoting obesity. It suggests that more of the focus is on resistance to change rather than acceptance. But if it is about acceptance, has literally nothing but women. The message at least been consistent and for everyone. Do you think there are different body standards for men and women? Women have this different connotation than men have. Maybe it's more acceptable for a man to be larger than a woman. For example, like a girl might say, like, I'll never date someone that's shorter. Or It's literally promoted for y'all women to get bigger now. What are you talking about? It's more accepted. Like, as far as with men, 
like. Let's say if a man says, I'll never date someone over this weight. My husband's tall and some people have shorter boyfriends. Kind of all depends on what you want in life. Would it be rude if like men started saying like, I won't date girls over a certain weight? I think physical attraction is important just as much as an emotional attraction. Yeah. Cast the Beeswax said, we just seen a video of the fat man with Pierce Morgan. Notice this. I want I want you to I want you to point out I want you to point out what you just said in there. Uh yo, cast the beeswax. Go ahead and point out what you just said in there. Go ahead. What did you say again? The, go ahead, say it. Say it again. The. 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 You ain't say them. You ain't say they. You ain't the. You ain't say them fat men. You said man. You said the man. You ain't say them niggas. You ain't say those men. You said that one fat man with Piers Morgan. I don't really see like fat models for guys. We always have to stand out of the like the jack dude. Men have a lot of pressure now. Nah, there's no way. Hold on, bro. Nah, cause like this ain't even funny at this point. Like, hold on. This is not always even funny. have to stand out of the like the jack dude. Men have a lot of pressure. What the fuck, yo? Nah, Turn bro. Turn out to Come look on, good. Dog. But when it comes to sexuality, why am I a hoe if I like to f and you? Hey, it is what it is. Them big joints be easy. I've been told you. Why am I a hoe if I like to fuck? Them big joints be easy, bro. And you a hoe because you because you like to fuck a lot of different dudes. You ain't a hoe because you like to fuck. I've never said a girl was a hoe because she liked to fuck. There's plenty of girls that like fucking their man. You like fucking your man. What's the problem there? You can want to fuck every day. You could be a nympho. It's when you want to fuck everybody that makes you a hoe. And of course, there's a problem with men and women. If a man wants to go out there and fuck everybody, that is a desperate ass man that I do not want to be around. I hate pussy driven men. I do every single thing for fucking pussy. That's it. Everything for female validation to, to where they only, they have to get pussy. Niggas a backdoor you behind that. This nigga dicks in my ass gonna say me for real. Yo, really? That nigga said he just fuck anything. Yo, chill, dog. Chill, bro. He said, bro, talk about me. And this nigga's happy. Yo, dog, chill, my nigga. Calm down, bro. I'm not talking about you. That shouldn't be you, bro. The fuck, man? That should not be you, dog. You guys are the kings and I'm the hoe. I think this double standards, oh my God, this pissed me off so much. You love the double standards when they benefit you, so don't even bullshit. Do you think there's different body that. standards between men and women? 100%. Right now we have a big trend for the dad bods, so my wife says, no, it's great. But then if you look- That's not a trend for the dad bods, nigga. It's because they're controlling y'all. You know how easy it is to control a nigga with a dad bod? Let's say, for instance, just look at the niggas that are around here. Look at all of you motherfuckers around here. Nigga, nobody is staring at this nigga, you or him right there with your fucking dad bods. Even bro back here. No, nigga. That's the reason why. Bro, the fuck? The, who the fuck gonna care if a, a nigga with a dad bod take his shirt off at the pool? Your girl's happy. Oh, nobody's staring. Nobody's looking at you. Meanwhile, your girl's over there staring at the nigga with the six pack, with the muscles and shit like that. Come on, bro. It's a, it's a controller mechanism. Oh, the oh, only like fat dudes fit. I have seen that promote fat acceptance are usually gay. Straight guys don't get the luxury to be delusional and say being Facts. fat is okay. Gussie. And then you had to add on the Gussie body flame name, really, nigga? But nah, for real. Even when it comes down to the uh, to the dad bod shit, y'all remember I showed y'all the tweet where it said uh, where where it said men with dad bods are more faithful. They have, they don't really have the option to not be faithful. The fuck? Like, let's really be real here. Which one of you women in here are dying to look at this nigga with a shirt off? Like, what the fuck? What women are, are fawning over this man and saying, oh, man, I can't wait to see this nigga with his shirt off. I think of Clementine said MMA fan. Demon Panty Gun said me. Yo, Shiny Dwarf said me. Y'all niggas are gay. I said women, and here y'all niggas go, oh, my God. Then, of course, Selena going to say it. She just saying that bullshit because she just bullshitting. Grandson going to say me. I love a grizzly bear. Yo, y'all niggas need to chill, dog. Yo, like dead ass chill, my nigga. Look at a woman who might have the mom bod at just given birth. People shame them for the way they look. That's actually an interesting point. I've actually heard my nigga, what's a mom bod? What's a mom bod, my nigga? The fuck is he talking about? Does he even know what a mom bod is? I would have asked this nigga immediately. Describe what a mom bod is, bro. Describe what a, a mom bod is. 
like you heard more of like the reverse in the sense that there's a lot of like let's say plus size models that are women but not really like plus size models that are for men i would counter that with how many male models do you see versus how many female models do you see plenty there are plenty of male models you don't see them getting promoted as much as women but there's plenty of male models and guess what? There are some plus size men models. It's just that they look like you. So they don't stick out because they look like you. They got plus size models of girls that look like this. Fucking huge. And then they got niggas like you that they'll promote as plus size men. And then for women, it's plus size. Big bitches. With men, they'll say big and what? Tall. When have you ever seen short and fat? When have you ever been to any clothing section where it said big and big? Big and short. No. It's big and tall, nigga. The fuck? They don't even make short they don't even make shirts for short fat niggas. Nigga like this gotta wear a big ass shirt that go all the way down there. Why the fuck your shirt go down the same place as mine, my nigga? Fuck. You don't see no you ain't never been to a fucking clothing store where it said big and short. I hate going to the zoo and Plus seeing size, fat niggas. men wearing shirts promoting dad bods and it pisses me off so much I want to tell a zookeeper the hippos escaped their enclosure. <laughs> squirt. Chill, yo, thoughts with me. Do you have to add on a squirt, my nigga? But yeah, man, bruh. They, the, nigga, they are, there are niggas out there who are plus size models. But like I said, you don't see these... You don't even see sumo wrestlers being that fat. Like, I'm talking about to where you like, hey, yo, bro. It, it'd be a nigga that look like this, that it'd be bigger than this, a little taller and shit like that. That nigga be a sumo wrestler. Nigga, a wrestler, yo, nigga, nigga be in shape. But he's just fat as hell. But not even that, not like this. Like I said, but this is the plus size model. If you go on TikTok and look up plus size models for men, plus size male models, I'm about to Google it right now. I'm going to Google it right now. Let's see what, let's see, I'm going to see what comes up. Plus size male models. Do y'all see what I mean? <laughs> Besides this, this, and this, niggas with titties and shit, but look, look at the huge difference than when you see fat girls. Do you see a whole bunch of, there are some fat ass niggas, don't get it twisted, but it ain't nothing like what you see with the girls, bro. It ain't nothing like what you gonna see with the girls. Do you see what I mean? Big ass husky ass niggas. Nothing like what you see with the women at all. Thank you. With the women, did you see how big those girls were? Damn near 400 and shit like that. Come on, dog. Uh, there's a lot of like, let's say, plus size. <laughs> Yo, dicks in my ass said they kind of look like me. Fuck you, nigga. Fuck you, bro. Models that are women, this... but not really like plus size models that are for men. I would counter that with how many male models do you see versus how many female I'll models do you with... see? So I wanted to ask. I would counter that with. Water, sugar water. Why did nigga sound like the nigga from Men in Black with the sugar water? Nigga? It's an actual plus size model. Why? Why? Plus size male models is a bunch of men who are 15% body fat, while plus size female model, it's a bunch of lizards. Well, probably around like 20. I ain't gonna hold you more so around there. 15% body fat ain't what you giant think it is. Gizzle and gobbles, grizzlies, nah. gargantuan, gussy. And what the hell? What the fuck? No, 15% body fat is like around here bro so i don't think you understand what 15 percent body fat looks like around 15 percent body fat is that like that's like 15 16 percent body fat that's not plus size model like no i'm still mad i look so fucking short but yeah no why do you see a lot of like the ko so lame with the 10 gifted Look at these fucking titties. My bad. Nigga, Sir Lambert, the tank, if the W's in the chat, nigga, my bad. I almost. My bad. It's the titties that threw me off. W's in the fucking chat for my nigga, Sir Lambert, the 10 gifted. I appreciate you, my nigga. Thank you, bro. See, China's world said, I'm um, 26% body fat. And my plus size bottle, it really, nigga. Nah, because nah, you, nah, you got to be big and tall, bro. Yo, Sir Lambert, thank you again for those 10 gifted, my nigga. These titties, bro. Plus size modeling for girls, but not like plus size modeling for men. I think. I don't. Yo, he looked. Oh, <laughs> Niggas, nigg, so, with another 10 gifted? Niggas spam no W's up, what the fuck? 20 gifted? Niggas spam no W's And y'all better be thanking him if you got gifted. You better be thanking him. So, w's in a fucking chat. 
Sir Lame with the 20 fucking Gibsons, bro. No, no, what the hell's going on? Nigga, Sir Lame with the 30 Gifted. Nigga, spam them W's up, nigga. Sir Lame with the 30 Gifted. Nigga, spam them W's up, nigga. Spam them W's up, nigga. Spam them W's up. New sub going hit. Then my nigga Vlad plays with the 5 Gifted. Spam them W's up. What the hell? What the hell? Came out of nowhere. With the new circle to thank y'all both. Like we've been so like, what the fuck? On and off for an hour and a half. We definitely have. I can't hold you. I, I cannot stop yeah. saying that. Yo, what the hell? Stop fucking playing. Yeah. Nigga, Sir Lane with 40 fucking gifted. Yeah. Bro, what the hell? Nigga, spam them W's up, them emos yeah. up, everything. And if you got gifted, you better thank him. What the hell, bro? Yeah. Sir Lane with 40 gifteds, my nigga? Nigga! Yeah. What the hell, dog? Yo, Sir Lane, thank you, my nigga. What the hell? Nigga! Yeah. Bro just came through and dropped off 40, my nigga. Nigga! Yeah. Bruh. That's, that's going a little too crazy. Holy shit, yeah. bro. Nigga! God damn. Holy shit, bro. Nigga! Yeah. Nah, thank you, bro. 40 fucking gifteds? Nigga! Yeah. Yeah. Yo, thank you and Vlad plays, bro. I appreciate both of you. So it's, it's just gonna keep okay. 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 Bruh. Dog, it's not gonna stop. It's just not gonna stop. It's not gonna stop. Okay. Okay. I guess we just not stopping. Just... Nigga! <laughs> Yo, Yo, thank you, Mystic Vortex. Thank you, bro. This shit is crazy. If this does this 40 times. Nigga! <laughs> Fuck that. Sorry. I'm sorry. There's no way in hell I was going to let that play. I wasn't going to let that do that 40 times. No way in hell I'm going to let that do that 40 times. Sorry. Okay, and done this Papa John's money ain't all that. Bro. Papa John's money, Sir Lame. Yo, thank you for the 40 gifteds and the four dollar and twenty donation, bro. Thank you, my nigga. Yo, I appreciate that, bro. Holy shit. Came through and dropped off the 40, bro. Yo, thank you. This nigga's Papa John. Nah, he would have called me a nigga. If he was Papa John, he definitely would have called me a nigga. Guaranteed. He would have had to. He was matching the weight the of hell? her weapons. Oh. One sub per pound. One sub per pound. Bro, her titties is just really... We keep pausing on these, too. To be honest, some people fetishize sad girls. Did y'all think that... I'm fetishizing them breasts. I'm not going... I just want to, like, like, smack them, like, on my face and everything. I want to put my hand between them and... You know what I'm saying? Like, just right just back and forth, bro. Like, for real, dog. Yo, Ronan said it would, of course. Yeah, dark arts too, bro. You ain't gotta be that horny, my nigga. Yo. Breast. <laughs> Definitely. Breast. Nigga, you see it, bro. It's just right there, bro. It's just, they all out there, my nigga. Is any fetish for, like, fat dudes? Just met a fat dude yesterday, and he was cuter than his friend. But, you know, I'm very demanding in the bedroom, and I think they need that stamina. Stamina. What? Bro, there's no way she just talked all of that shit about accepting being fat. And then, y'all see what I'm a misogynist? Nigga, you talked all of that shit about it being cool for women to be fat and you can be fat. But then a man can't be fat? I fucking hate you. Damn it. I am a misogynist. What the fuck? What? This life is so unfair. What the fuck, bruh? Stamina. <laughs> That's really how she said it, though. Dog! I'm not really a misogynist. I'm bullshit, bruh. Just saying that shit, man. It's fucking crazy, man. Nah, bruh. That's fucked up, bro. Y'all can't tell me they ain't fucked up. What the heck? Bro, 
The thing is, I get so mad when I hear shit like this because this is how a lot of women think, my nigga. Y'all don't understand, bro. So many women think like this, bro. Nah, I could be fat. It's cool for me to be. I can't date no fat man. Nigga, you don't believe me? Go on Twitter. Go look up. Uh, I don't even know what to fucking look up, bro. You start looking up these uh body positivity joints. Uh, yo, a man should accept me for this and that. And what do they have? They always have these couple pictures, right? And what do they always have? A super fat girl with a, an in-shape nigga. When do you ever see two fat motherfuckers? You always see these fat girls posting mood. Mood. Then it'll be a fat girl with a skinny ass nigga. When do you ever see a fat nigga with a fat ass bitch? Man, that shit got my fucking nerves, bro. Bro, Lizzo was in Chris Evans' DMs. That's what I'm saying. Why ain't seeing BFB the Pac Man DMs, nigga? Why ain't seeing Rod Wave DMs, nigga? Why wasn't she in Jonah Hill's DMs before, nigga? Why ain't she in my DM with these big ass motherfucking titties? Why ain't this nigga put her Instagram in the description, nigga? Big ass. But you know I'm very demanding in the bedroom, and I think they need that stamina. I can't, I can't imagine how she sound when she getting fucked. Stamina, yo, bruh. She sound like a Mexican wrestler. I, I can't, I don't know how she gonna sound if I'm hitting that joint, bro. I'm not gonna hold y'all. I need to drain her tights dry as punishment. Her tights? I don't have a lot of condition, so the guy has to do the work. And so it made me... She don't have a lot of conditioning, so the man has to be able to do all of the work. Modern dating is so fucking cooked, bruh. Yo, watch arrangements. No, we're not lying. We're not lying. You heard it. You heard it from the horse's mouth. I was about to say it from the horse's titties. Those are some big ass breasts. You heard, you heard, you heard it, bruh. This is crazy, y'all. <laughs> Chaos and Stommy Noggin. This is crazy, y'all. Calm down, King. I can't. I can't, bro. This is what a lot of men got to deal with, dog. I hate this for y'all. I got to say y'all, because it ain't ever going to be me. It ain't ever going to be me. She ain't going to be sitting there saying, I don't want a fat nigga and it be me. So it, I, I feel bad for some of y'all niggas that got to deal with that. This is y'all reality. This is a lot of y'all niggas reality. Bro. You was just licking another nigga balls. You just, that, you don't be born to that nigga. <laughs> Spiral Blade said, and you wonder why I was single? Nah, I know why niggas are single. You know what I'm saying? That ain't necessarily the whole reason, but unrealistic expectations, definitely. Unrealistic standards and shit. Crazy, my nigga. What do you think? Is it better to discourage people from being overweight or to fully accept it despite its potential consequences? Well, I'm curious. So, you know, you say that it's very important for people to demonstrate, you know, like self-care and not being fat. Do you think then fat shaming is a good way to promote people to be fit? I feel like one thing I hate, like I told y'all before, is the fact that fat people can make being fat their whole personality, but people try to shame people for making being in shape their whole personality, which is the weirdest thing I've ever seen in my fucking life. That's not the best way to go about it. If you use other methods, they can be more mindful about the eating it's patterns, crazy. fitness, and all that stuff. Every time you attack someone on their crazy. physique, not a good way to go about things. You, If you post a picture in the gym every day, like put it like this, right? You could be fat and post you eating three meals a day. Nobody's going to sit there and say you're making fat your whole personality. You post yourself in the gym three times a day. You post yourself in the gym every day. One picture every day. A video every day. They definitely... Oh, damn. You in the gym every day. What if you go onto a fat person's picture and you see people saying, man, why you always got to take a picture with your shirt off? Have y'all not gone to plenty of dudes' pictures? I'm talking about dudes, regular dudes that just post themselves. Man, why this nigga always got to take his shirt off? Y'all have done it to me. You know how many niggas done that to me? I've showed y'all DMs. Niggas said it in my comments. Why this nigga always got to take his shirt off? Yes, I'm kind of lazy at the moment, but will be. See, but you got to get past that. I'd rather be, um, make being in shape my whole personality. Facts. This girl going to say I'm a tool because I upload a shirtless pic at the gym. What if I was white, black? Was she in shape? 
Was she was she a woman that can compete with your physique as far as would she be on par with you? But Selena, you would not be one to take my shirt off if I was fat. If you tell someone they biggest fucking long enough, they would change uh or want to. I don't go around just doing that. Like I said, I don't promote y'all to go do that, go out there and fat shame random people. See what I'm saying? What if I was white black? You feel me? I don't I I'm telling y'all, don't go out there and just fat shaming random people. You will never catch me going up on somebody on the street and just saying they fat. You need to get in shape. You never gonna catch me going on Twitter, commenting on random fat people shit and be like, yo, you're fat, you need to get in shape. You never gonna catch me on social media at all doing that. But if there's people in my community that are telling me I'm more of a little beast, I'm like, if you don't get your fat ass up, get to the gym and put the fucking fork down. Cause you're in my community. And I fuck with you. And we can do that over here. Because that's what we do in DSG. Why don't I stream my shirt off? Cybernetical. I've streamed my shirt off plenty of times. Why do I got to stream my shirt off right now? Well, you're telling me off camera you lost 45 pounds. What made you want to do that in the first place? People around you are in shape. And, uh, you know, you just uh, can't lose sight of that. So, so you're... Joyous Fun said, uh, yo, Daquan, my friend started to follow you. I genuinely hope he hears uh, and takes your uh, advice on life. Jim... And how to handle uh, how to handle yourself as a man? That brother, the brother needs it. Well, hopefully he does. Hopefully he's not one of those ones that you know sees it as a personal attack and just sees it as actual advice. Environment not only influences your actions but also your trajectory. And when that's the case, we're both influencing and influenced by the people we spend the most time with. And so when your actions can directly impact the people closest to you, it may be a different way to explore whether it's okay to be fat. Well, let me ask you this: what Two tacos, please. Said his brother fat shamed him, and he woke up. Thank God for him. W fat shamer. What do you do if your kids are fat? I think it's like a problem. It's like a disease. A disease? You can my, my kid would never get fat. Not live like that. What do you want? My kids would have to have some type of illness or something like that for them to get fat. I'm not allowing my children to get fat. I don't allow them to overeat. Want your kids to be fat? No. Would... Forever DSG said DSG is certified growers really not. You do if they are. Like exercise is like a big part of my life. DSG Zookeeper, I did not see the I didn't see the uh the the details of it. Now how she made them eat bananas from sex workers box i don't there's no way that's real but i thought you can't really like force someone to change though right well they're my kids so <laughs> i can do whatever thank you yeah, so when my one kids person's unhealthy habits can enable another person's it's easy to see how influence begins so if culture can shape behavior what impact can shaming have on the larger population what is like mexican culture like in regards to being fat bullying to the fat people the parents doesn't like you to be fat my son he's a great singer you know but sometimes i say oh you have to be thinner to be you know you're like an image so and at least according to i will always tell my ch if my children ever start gaining some weight and i see them getting overweight oh morbidly obese then i'm gonna tell them hey yo what are y'all doing there's no way you're gonna allow your father to look this way and then y'all want to look like that come on man. her there's a bit of shaming in and i will always be on my daughter about it definitely because how much they try to influence young black women to become obese yeah, I would definitely always be on my daughter about it because they are definitely trying to influence black women to become obese. Question. I just started going back to the gym last week, mm -hmm. doing mostly cardio every day, burning 500 calories while only eating 1,200 to 1,500 a day. Is this a good plan for weight loss? Fuck no. I'm going to keep it a 1,000 with you. Hell no. Not at all. Not even a slightest bit. I have no clue why you thought that was healthy. That weight's going to come back like that. 1,200 to 1,500 calories a day is not healthy for a man at all. That weight is going to come right back because you're going to lose some weight relatively quick. And it's going to come right back. So, hell no. Not at all. That's not good. Now, like, yeah, not at all. Not the slightest bit, bro. And then burning 500 calories a day and all this other shit. And then on top of that, only eating 12 to 1,500. Do you know how much of a deficit your body is in? Then once you're done with your diet, you're going to start, uh, you're going to start eating you're going to try to almost get back to normal eating. And then once you get back to normal eating, that shit's coming right back. So by all means, if you want to continue that, if it's working for you, it's working for you. If you continue that, maybe it'll work. I don't know your genetics. You may be able to keep the weight off. But yeah, you don't want to lose more than 1% of your body weight weekly in order to be able to lose weight and keep it off. Mexican culture. But at the and, same time... And with you having a diet of 1,200 to 1,500 calories a day, also while burning... 500 extra calories through cardio alone and then you have your steps and everything you're taking throughout the day then you're neat on top of that then your bmr come on bro hell no that's not healthy at all 
That's not a good thing. It's not a good plan for weight loss. Mexico is one of the fatter countries in the world. Well, what is French culture like when it comes to fat people? So I grew up fat, not really fat. Chunky. Yeah. My brother has called me like the Michelin. <laughs> the Michelin man. And Michelin that man. stuck with me like for a long time. Unnerved. Unnerved. No problem, bro. No problem, bro. Where's the N-words? Yo, Adrian, thank you for the 29 months, my nigga. God damn, 29 months. Thank you, bro. I appreciate that, my nigga. Long time, and I think that's one of the reasons why I went to exercise a lot. Well, so let me dig into that. That, that seems. Selena says rice helps people gain weight. Um, who eats rice the most? Can anybody in here? Because we we've gone through this before. What uh what demographic eats rice the most? Can y'all tell me real quick? Can y'all tell me what rice what what Asians? What's the skinniest demographic? Also, what's the skinniest what's the skinniest demographic? Also, can y'all go ahead and point that out real quick? What's the skinniest demographic? Thank you. Same answer. So there's your answer, Selena. Rice don't make you gain weight. It's eating in the, eating it in abundance. It doesn't make you gain weight. Now, the thing is, there are certain carbs that people can eat that will help them retain more water. But you're not gaining weight off of eating rice. You'll retain a little bit more water. You'll get some water weight. But that can also, you know what I'm saying, once you deplete yourself of those carbs, you'll deplete yourself of that water. Seems like fast shaming worked. Trouble God, I can't, I, I hope a nigga didn't say that. I think so. <laughs> and in countries like Japan, we've seen even more drastic measures of shaming. Big bellies in Japan are suddenly bad news. I just said, what's the skinniest demographic? What's the leanest demographic? Big bellies in Japan, do y'all see it? Big bellies. This ain't even the average American. Big bellies? This ain't even an average American, bro. This is considered obese. This is a, considered big to them. Look at that. The average American weighs five times more than this. Not five times. The average American weighs twice this nigga size. Weighs twice this nigga. Has the much bigger stomach and everything. You're welcome, big boy. Yo, Adrian, why you got to call me big boy, bro? I ain't that fat. That's banned over there. America's fucked. Yup. American food got hella shit in it. It definitely does. Damn, I'd be Godzilla to them. It's, it's crazy. Is it time to fat shame Daquan? Dirk, why do you want to fat shame me so badly? Like, bro, you've been you've been definitely going in on a fat shaming. Like, my nigga, Phantom said he saw five fat niggas in Japan, and that's it. Thank you. When I was overseas, I rarely saw fat people, and I was in Italy. In Croatia, I didn't see a single fat person. In Slovenia, I didn't see a single fat person. In Italy, I rarely saw fat people. Most of the fat people I saw were Americans, and they were in the military and civilians. Name Solo, of course, and I was one of them, of course. Of course. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I mean, Chicago that. law enacted in 2008 requires employers. Y'all y'all keeping me on point. Because, like, before, I, when I was going to end this stream, I was going to get myself about three sandwiches. When I end this stream now, I'm only going to get myself two and a bag of protein chips. Y'all telling me this shit is going to make me. Here's to measure their employees' waist circumference. When I went on vacation, I never saw a single fat native. Where did you go on vacation, uh, Mighty Flame Dame? The average American, a good three of them. In Daquan's case, Easy. it would be five of them, because as we know, the Cross River Gorilla and Western the, Luring what? Gorilla typically weigh between Fuck. 310 and Bro. 440 pounds. <laughs> I hate this nigga chestnut, dog. I hate this nigga chestnut, bro. What were you eating Always, when you were A lot of random shit that I don't suggest anybody eat. It wasn't good. I didn't do a healthy bulk. I didn't do a healthy bulk. You can eat the same shit that I would normally eat for my diet and just be in like 100, 200 calorie surplus. That's all it takes, bro. You got to think about it. Or if you bulk that way, you'll bulk up with more muscle rather than fat. But a lot of, like I said, I did a dirty bulk to try to get up a lot of weight because I wanted to gain weight in my legs. I didn't care I gained it because I know damn well I could lose the weight. Didn't care I gained it. Lost 13 pounds in 11 days. So. To prevent metabolic syndromes caused by obesity to identify those at risk. And it aims. Oh Where's the N-words? Mr. Goodbar, thank you for the 12 months, whole year over there. You know what I'm saying? And DSG, thank you, my nigga. Uh, Icy Polar Bear said, uh, what's good? What's some good meals to eat? 170 grams of protein a day? What, whatever good protein source you have. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Well, I mean, whatever protein sources you have, bro. Look, I can't give you certain meals, bro. You can eat whatever meals can get you up there. Look at chicken breast. Nigga, anything. Anything that's protein. Nigga, Selena says pussy. Chicken breast, chicken wings, chicken thighs. and chicken. Just a little bit so you don't feel the guilt. 
Zero Dono, if you don't cut it out, you keep bringing me back to the spaghetti and chicken, and I'm going to have to make that when I get off here. I'm only supposed to be eating the sandwich. Can you please stop doing that? Can you please, bro? Chill, dog, because now I really, I, it's like I have to. I have to. Fuck that. Yo, Tim, nah, nah, Tim. There's no way Tim and Cassie Bear looked like that. Nah. Uh, you can tell you can say it as much as you want. I ain't gonna do it. There's no way Tim and Cassie Bear are looking like that, and I'm looking like this. Hell no. Tim and Cassie Bear are my motivation in DSG. No way them niggas look like that and I look like this. Hell no. Nah. To encourage healthier lifestyles and participate. Greek yogurt, definitely good. Very good source of protein. But you know what I'm saying? You got uh steaks, you got red meats and shit like that. You got all types of shit that give you protein. Even pork gives you protein. I would never suggest that because it's unhealthy and too much fat and shit like that. But yeah, it's a lot of shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't suggest chicken th chicken thighs if you're trying to lose weight because it's too much fat. Nah, what, nah, Tim, hell nah. I am not your motivation, bro. You are mine. You wouldn't. Okami said, "Who is Cassie Bear? You don't, nigga. You want to see Cassie Bear and DSG, my nigga? Do you want to see this nigga, bro? Nigga, him and Tim. Him, him and Tim, bro. This nigga Cassie Bear. This is Cassie Bear, bro. Dog, I can't have these niggas out here looking like this, and I look like this." I can't have these niggas out here like this. Bro, I, I'm not having this nigga out here like this. This nigga just jumped six feet like it wasn't nothing. I can't have this nigga doing this, and I can't, and I and I don't look like this. I can't, I can't, I, I, it's not happening. Tim, is your, is your name still Tim Nuts? Please don't tell me it's still Tim Nuts. It's still Tim Nuts. I can't have this nigga Tim. What if I was white, black in here looking like this, and I look like this? I, I'm not doing that. I'm not out here looking like the way I do and these two niggas looking like this. Do y'all see what I mean? We got these niggas in DSG, y'all. These are the niggas we got to compete with. These niggas not looking like this and I'm looking like this. Fuck no. Talking about I'm your motivation? Hell no. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. I can't have these niggas out here looking like this, bro. Nigga, you, zero dono. You could talk about that spaghetti and fried chicken as much as you want. But as long as I know there's niggas like this in DSG... I got to be on my shit, my nigga. Patient and health management programs. And even as a developed society, Japan is one of the least fat countries. And so I wanted to exactly. dive deeper into how different levels of acceptance has impacted different countries around the world. Where are you from again? Untitled for a bit. No, it's not, bro. That nigga would barely be jumping over me. You know what I'm saying? Not barely. He definitely would jump over me. Tomorrow's your birthday? You, bro, you better... Yo, Tim, you better be able to get you some, bro. You better get you some. Nah, Tim got you looking bad. Nah, I ain't gonna hold you. Yeah, bro. Both of them niggas are in, in extremely good shape. There's no way in hell, bro. I'm, and I'm going to the gym on your birthday. That's what you need to do, because that's exactly what I did, too, on my birthday. 12-hour stream, and I went to the gym. Argentina. Friends. Is America the fattest? I would I would probably say America's probably the fattest. Let me look at the, the fattest country. Country with most... Country with most obese people. According to the World Health Organization, the most obese countries are primarily located located in the Pacific and Middle East. I would I would have thought it would have been a uh, America. America is not even in the top ten. Wow. Wow. Where does the U.S. rank? Oh, we're the twelfth. We're the twelfth. <laughs> we're the twelfth. Yeah, I knew we were up there. I knew we had to be up there. It's going to be pretty challenging because I have to eat over 3,000 calories every day to be in a surplus. And recently, I've been incredibly inconsistent with going over that number. Bruh, because you're very skinny. I know it's going to be hard to get that. But you have to try to go with higher calorie dense foods. That'll get you that. That'll get you that extra, uh, those extra calories. You know what I'm saying? Go with higher calorie dense foods. Like, say, for instance, you got to go with things with a little more fat in them. Things like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can go with the chicken thighs over the chicken breasts. You can go with the chicken wings over that. Chicken legs, if you wanted to. You can go with uh, the steaks, the higher fat steaks, not the leanest cuts of steak. You can go with that. You know what I'm saying? You can go with the, uh, the full fat Greek yogurt. I'm from Iran. Okay, let me ask you, in Argentina, are Things there a like lot that. of fat people? Not much. Our food is not as fast food as in America. There's not as many. Argentina probably got some good-ass food. I already know it. No problem, Mr. Blades. Many obese people. Tanji's verse said, yeah, he eats between 3,000 to 4,000 calories a day. When I was on 3,000 calories, bro, that shit was so hard. I was damn near ready to throw up every day, bro. 
Do not forget this brothers especially you Daquan. We are legion. We are gorillas. We are the wilchers. We are the, the grassy grunchers pushing G while we squirt and fart and eat Alonzo's signatures ST lemon pepper chicken. What the hell, bro? Brother Kai, y'all are not Wilshire's. You're not eating no zesty lemon pepper chicken. Nigga. Well, in Iran, as I see when I go to Vegas, everything in the U.S., the, the portion size is just like overloaded. So, but back home, more organic. Hey, Kazzy Bear definitely does have um, some workout programs if y'all need some help with that, bro stuff and people eat with family so it's more enjoyable so I oh shiny dwarf you wait shiny dwarf you were able to uh, up your calories from 1800 you said you had 2500 today and you just went walking uh were you able to up your calories now let uh let latin america has so much uh good naturally grown food and america is flooded with processed food i know but look at these titties bro look at these naturally grown processed uh, look at these naturally grown unprocessed organic titties bro you know what i'm saying i already can tell I think it's a cultural thing. In New York, for example, I was with another plus size girl. We were walking on the street and every five minutes, wherever you go, they were like, Hola, senorita. Bruh, they doing this because of them breasts. You think that nigga was just walking up to you? Oh, I know black, I Dominican. You know, that nigga was walking up on you, shaking what he saw you have up there, bruh. The fuck? He was trying to get you to shake them titties. Who the hell was you talking about? Harlem, shake them motherfuckers. The fuck is she talking about? Titties like she don't know. Counter 76. I can't help that. But she acting like she don't know. What the hell? And y'all remember what I told y'all? Look at that. Y'all remember I told y'all about girls with their options on social media and shit. But then what did I tell y'all? Imagine when you got to go out in public and think to yourself, every time I walk out in public, damn. I hope men don't talk to me. This is really the reality for a lot of fucking women. This girl, we were walking on the street and every five minutes, wherever... This ain't no dime. This ain't a joint I'm looking at like I gotta. If I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna hold you. If I'm, if I see this on the street, the only reason why I'm gonna holler at it because I'm gonna think, all right, this might be easy. This might be a nice little easy kill for the night. If we only here for the day, I get this real quick because I know this gonna be a joint I can get back to the room today. You feel me? That's it. And she got them big ass breasts. If she ain't had them titties, and I ain't gonna hold you. I mean, I'm not looking twice at her. If she walking down the street like this with them big ass motherfucking breasts out, I'm definitely looking right at the titties. I would not notice her face. Once I look at the face, I'm like, damn, all right. Yo, let me make sure nobody try, you know, nobody see, you know what I'm saying, what I'm doing. You feel me? And then I'm gonna go ahead, holler at that, get it, you know what I'm saying? Pull it to the side. All right, look, what you doing tonight? Let's chill. Not, we ain't going out. We ain't going to no bar. I ain't taking you out. Nah, let's chill. You feel me? That's it. Where you go they were like oh la senoritas you know europe where i am from they chaotic dark heart said i need to try coffee made from her milk like, like slim girls but i think in uh, most of the u.s parts they like them fat and they don't like them fat a lot of niggas just can't get anything else but fat women secondly niggas down south they be saying they love fat girls you have no choice do you see when you go to texas how many girls are fucking fat you niggas have no choices they, nigga look look down south you know what I'm saying? Like, say, for instance, notice this, right? They be like, men down south. Do they ever say in Miami that niggas love fat girls? Have you ever seen niggas say th that niggas in Miami love fat girls? You s you always see them saying men from the south love them some big girls. But have you ever... Florida's the south. Miami's the south. Have you ever seen them say men from Miami love fat girls? Fuck out of here. Why would they? Why would they? they? No. The baddest bitches go to Miami. The baddest bitches ain't fat. And juicy, thick. What? This nigga Clementine said, "Fresh be fucking fat bitches. Fresh don't fuck no fat girls, bro." Clementine, like, put it like this, bro. If you ever think the shit that Fresh and Fit be talking about when they talk about bad women and all this other stuff is fake, just know the shit is extremely real, bro. Just know that, bro. Nigga, no fat girls, nothing under eights. Yeah, it ain't, like, it's really real. Like, you got to understand, they're multimillionaires living in Miami. It's really real out there for them. What do you think a lot of people in Just America are fat, juicy, and thick? Because, honestly, the food is really sh I'm not saying Fresh be fucking everything. I'm just saying. Then if, if he's talking about bad women, know that he's experienced with these bad women. Shitty. And then the good food, healthy food is so fucking expensive. I just said that. All of it, all, bro, you go to McDonald's, you can get a triple cheeseburger for what, $3? A triple 
cheeseburger. A triple cheeseburger. Bro, 96% lean ground beef. A pound of that is $9. I can make two triple cheeseburgers with that. It's $9. Get two triple cheeseburgers from McDonald's for $6. So people eat unhealthy. As opposed to France where, of course, there is like fat people, but way. They up their prices? I wouldn't know. I don't eat at McDonald's. They call you six feet tall. Back from the gym, you are still hearing what I miss. Yes, Earthbound. Yes, we still here, my nigga. So look, I'm five eleven without my shoes on. You know what I'm saying, Tim? I'm white. I'm five eleven without my shoes on, bro. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I'm, I'm six foot. When you see me, you gonna see me as six foot, cause nigga, even when I look, even when I tell motherfuckers my height in real in real life, they be like, nigga, you, you ain't no five eleven, cause I don't look five eleven. But I'm five eleven, cause motherfuckers always see me with shoes on. That's why, Clementine, you ain't me though. Way less, like in terms of percentage. You're trying to say that American food's bad? Nanuski, I'm not 5'6. American? It is. <laughs> and over and over again, what we see is an obvious link between what you eat and how fat you are. In that. He can't even sit at the table with him because he's so big. He can't even fit. And I know that's their child. Look at them. Just allowing their kid to get this big. How many fat men have we seen this whole joint? Is this like the second fat nigga we've seen? Is this is this maybe the second or third? He's a redditor. He's definitely a redditor moderator. You you know that. This is crazy. And if you want to lose weight, you might want to put he, that. He looked yes. Yo, Kyle Creation said he looked like he's suffering. He looked like he out of breath. No, that's true. When I was in Miami, I saw Fresh with a little thick snow bunny who was like at least an eight tenths. Bro, see, you see what I mean? You done caught Fresh out there. You know what I'm saying? You see what I mean? Nothing under eights, bro. You feel me? I'm not gonna hold you. That cheeseburger down, you fat fk. But what we see is that the food and health system in America goes a lot deeper than that. And as always, the key is to follow the money. Adrian, I ain't gonna hold you. They do be good as shit, though. Like, m m nigga, after me looking at these burgers and shit, I want to go, like, I have the stuff up there to make me a burger. I can eat a whole pound of ground beef tonight and only 520 calories all together. A whole pound, my nigga. Why y'all think I want to go upstairs and make my motherfucking, my motherfucking spaghetti and eat as much of it as I want? Because I can make three pounds of that spaghetti. That'd be around like 16, 700 calories, 1,700 calories for the three pounds of the ground beef. Then I'm going to add in only vegetable noodles. And I got um, 12 servings of that at 25 calories per serving. And then I'm going to add in the tomato sauce, season the tomato sauce myself, unseasoned tomato sauce, 15 calories per serving. Dump it all up in there. Just Nigga, I, I go eat all that. Yeah, shiny jewel with vegetable noodles. Yes. I'm hungry as shit. Our food environment doesn't match what Rich. humans are meant to eat. A lot of people don't even know what processed foods are. Every system is built on these food lies because it makes them money. It's the profits. Send you the link. I'll show it to you when we're done with this. When we're done with this video, remind me and I'll show it to you. Processing. Cheap processed food. Clementine, I think that's I think that's the brand, bro. Made I'm gonna bring it down soy, here. Like chicken nuggets, ready to go meals. Like huge profit market. You grow meat, fish, eggs, vegetables. There's not a lot of profit margin now. The big processed food companies, they have all the money. The best foods are unhealthy foods i ain't gonna hold you like i said fried chicken i love fried chicken my nigga oh obviously i'm black i love fried chicken it's extremely unhealthy i love burgers burgers are unhealthy why you think when i'm done with this instead of me saying i'm gonna eat a burger i can go eat the difference between 520 calories of turkey versus 520 calories of of uh i mean turkey breast compared to 520 calories of ground beef it's crazy now they can do lobbying, marketing. Most of the industry research out there is funded by these big food companies. I find something very disturbing about that. And when most of our food... The fact, Shiny Dwarf, I love pizza. Like, come on, bro. Food system is producing processed foods. We become so accustomed to the effects that we don't even realize it until we go somewhere else. For the past 10 days, I've been in Italy and I've eaten nothing but meat, cheese, pasta, and pizza. And you know what? I can't wait. Fantastic. I ate like abs. No, bro. Every time when I was in Italy, there's never a time I ate pasta and felt like, damn, I got fat. I'm gonna gain weight from this, bro. I can go out there. The the dishes, my nigga, they be eating four course meals, bro. These Italians be eating four-course meals, bro. Bruh, 
I'm trying to tell, nigga, every time I went out, I would get me a pizza, diavola, that's what you got to call it, you know what I'm saying, over there with pepperoni, or either, um, I get the uh, ragu, penne al ragu, get that, that's the pasta with uh, pe with uh, meat sauce, nigga, it never, I never left there like, oh my God, oh shit, I'm so full, never, when I got steaks, when I got anything, never felt like this fucked me up, I'm trying to tell you, bro. Absolute shit and didn't work out and I never felt healthier. It turns out the EU has way stricter food regulations than the US. They don't allow as many preservatives, additives, or GMOs. I think we're terrible. literally eating poison here. And with our system incentivizing providers to treat illnesses and diseases rather than prevention, it makes you wonder, is the system set up to keep people sick and treat patients as subscription customers to maximize profit? The whole medical system is not a wellness system. It's a sick care. All of this is based on money. Because even with the US spending by far the most on healthcare out of any country, then why are we one of the fattest? Disease is probably the biggest business in America. Obesity, cancer, it's all monetary, you know? I was just about to say they make so much money off of it. You get within this system of care. System of care and you get stuck there. That's you a fact, know, you chaotic, become reliant on that. One pill creates another symptom that you get on another pill for and another Fact, stop, you know, sweeper. I think the best thing you can do for yourself is take care of yourself. So do you think that America is promoting this culture of fatness to get more patients in the door? I wouldn't uh, doubt it for a second. So when the issue is not just about laziness, but a system that is feeding you unhealthy options, then what is the solution? What do you think is like the right balance between acceptance and improvement? You have to accept the people who choose the way wow. they want to be and for the improvement. Shiny Jewel said, when I was a pharmacy tech, I kid you not, over, the half, over, half the, uh, over half of the prescriptions I filled were all diabetic meds. Wow improvement side, you just have to be there to support the people who want to make improvements. You can't just force your beliefs on someone and you can't force someone to make a change. Because the first step to improvement is acceptance. And more importantly, deciphering if you're deluding yourself from working towards improvement in the name of- Trouble God, I've never been to Jamaica. I wonder how the food is over there. I want to try some acceptance because if there's even a tiny whisper inside of you that's telling you should be doing more and that you don't want to be fat then you're settling maybe maybe look yourself in the mirror a little bit just be honest to yourself just be honest with yourself because the moment you start looking inwards you can start inwards. changing your reality and what used to be your insecurity can now become one of the best reasons for wanting to improve it's why the lonely outcast nerd creates a social what up, network. New York, the it's only why one? the misunderstood the one comedian and want to make people laugh it's and it's why the person who works out consistently year after year was once the fat kid and it's when we start embracing brutal honesty within ourselves and life is when we start uplifting others around us to do the same and that's exactly the mission to explore the unfamiliar thanks for watching and subscribe if you want to see more content i want to see that girl's titties does he have her instagram or something in here damn I wanted to see her titties. Not gonna hold you. W video though. Yo, W video in the chat, bro. W video, bro. That was definitely a good ass video.